From what you have said, your company, TTC, wants to build a base station in my kingdom. Yes, Your Majesty. And you said you have found a suitable land for it? Yes, Your Majesty. Um, your visit was unannounced and I was only able to get the owner over here to sit with me. We are not the only ones that decide what to do or what not to do in this kingdom. So I believe that our meeting will be rescheduled. That's very okay. That is okay. We appreciate your warm reception, Your Majesty. And our company will be glad if you grant our request. Here is a proposal and all you might wish to know about our mission. Very well. We'll get back to you. Thank you, Your Majesty. We'll be on our way. I smell good fortune coming to us. Well, as long as I remain the king of this kingdom, good fortunes would always come. Is that not why we fought for you to remain on this throne? Oh no, oh no, don't drag me back. Hmm? That was in the past. Let's move on with the future. <laughs> uh, Your Majesty, those communication companies pay millions to host communities to build their masts. And I am certain that it will be so huge that even if they share the money among every person is in Umo Palawe, <laughs> more is still remain. <laughs> uh, oh no, oh no, oh no, tell me, who else, who else, who else in this kingdom? has the kind of large appetite you have for money. <laughs> My name is Duncan, and I'm not afraid of anybody. Eze Bubi can no longer continue to treat people like animals. Even animals deserve good treatment. This is the height of it. The worst is that he's He's not only keeping the throne to his family. He's also neglecting the very people that he's supposed to be taking care of. All he cares about is to enrich his pocket and that of his selfish head as in council. Is this not exactly how he took millions from Sap Oil Petroleum Company and shared it among himself and the selfish head as in council? Exactly. Somebody has to stop him. How do you intend to do that? Have we, the youth, and even our parents not confronted the king on several occasions as regards this matter? Isaac, I believe we need to do more. I think we should think of a more effective way to stop him. See, guys, the only solution to this problem is to have rotational kingship in this land. One village, in fact, one family cannot continue producing kings. In this our land. You sound as if you are ignorant of what has been happening in the past in this land. The clamor for rotational kingship has come up on several occasions in the past and it got defeated. See, if you must know, this is the exact reason 
Mr. Leonard Ekwenze, the former secretary to the town union, was assassinated. And so what? And so what, High Saint? We must continue with the struggle. We need to do more. See, Eze will be thinks or believes that no matter what, the royalty will never depart from his family. But if he realizes that it's me, eventually leaves your make an ass family, then he'll have a rethink of his selfishness. Uh, uh, Duncan. Duncan, how do you intend to achieve this? These people, these men that we are talking about, they are all desperate and evil. We I need see. to apply some sense in this. So, I sense we are desperate and evil too. The kingdom of God suffer lets violence, and the violent ones take it by force. It is just the same with this land. Violence must be applied. You see, I, I, what I'm beginning to sense here is that someone is ready to die. They will just kill you guys the same way they killed the former secretary to the town. Oh, I say, come on, stop this nonsense before I start seeing you as one of them. Ah! Oh, thanks for the verse you just quoted. Henceforth, that is going to be our guiding principle. We must take this kingdom by force! Yes. Well done, no. What is wrong with you, Bond? Why are you looking at that girl like that? What? This guy is crazy, you. What did I do now? Are you are you not aware? Eh? Now you've seen what you've caused now. You've seen what you've caused now. You've seen how stupid you are. I, I was actually looking to know where she would enter. Mama, I didn't know where she would So Bond, because of a girl. Eh? Because of a girl, you behave like a complete idiot. My friend, let's go where we're going to. Eh? And the point there is that, did you know her before now? I wonder. I don't need to know her. I'm just seeing her for the first sight. Uh, uh, why am I bothered? If you say you might behave like you, look at the way you just turn your face like, like someone that... Let's go. I don't even know you. How will I become your friend just because she wants me to? That is why I'm asking for your friendship, so we can get to know ourselves better. Like I said, I am new here, and your friendship will be deeply appreciated. Give me time to think about it. Cute! It's okay, baby. Ha! Huh. Excuse me, baby? Oh, pardon my manner. Sorry I didn't ask your name. Oh, it's... Actually, it's my bad. Um, I should have told you mine when you told me yours. My name is Perpetua. Ooh. Beautiful name for a beautiful angel like you. Oh, well. I'm hoping that Perpetua is going to drive our love to perpetuity. Are you sure you're okay? Have I done anything wrong? Please forgive me if I've done something wrong. Okay? Uh, just give me some time. You know, you get to like me. Anyway, the truth is that a beautiful girl like you can actually make any man misbehave. But just pardon my manners. But hurry up now, I'm tired of waiting. It's okay. I'll have to go now. Oh, hold on, please. Please don't leave that soon, okay? Um, let me know where you live. Or at least can I I should have your number also. That will not be necessary, eh? Later. I said I'm sorry. You two they vex. Why are no good vex? You left me standing for so long. Talking to someone I don't even know. Please he. I have no idea. I thought as much. Yet, you spoke to him for that long. I'm even surprised at myself. We, 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 we had this conversation like we've known for a long time. <laughs> what does he want? What else could a man want? He even called me. My goodness! He looks like a bad boy. Not only that, he sure is a playboy. Be careful. Well, I think.
think I kind of like you. Eh? You you what? Let me just pretend as if I didn't hear you. Let's go home. Ah uh ah. -uh. Yeah, I like him more. Like him. Is the princess not having dinner with us? That's true. God! God! Your Majesty. Go and call the princess. Tell her that dinner is served. She has been sent for already, sir. Princess, please you have to come with us. The dining is set. The king and the queen are waiting. God, I already told you I won't be eating. You can go ahead and wait for me for all I care. Please, you have to come with us. You know how the king cherishes eating with his family. That woman is not my family. And as long as she sits there on that dining table, I'm not going. But you've been doing it. Not anymore, Oyeji. I won't be doing that again. I finally had it up to here. I am sick and tired of carrying on like it's fine when it's not fine by me. About time I started making some statements and backing it up with actions, don't you think? Her princess, she's the queen, the king's wife. Your mother, she's not my mother. She will never, ever be like my mother. I hate her. God knows I hate her so bloody much. I hate her and the aura with which she carries herself in this palace, assuming the position of the queen. Who... You know what, you guys? You want a response from me? Now you have it. Go. Go on. Go tell the king what I said. My princess, you know we can't go to your father with that message. He will have us punished. Please, for our sake, come dine with your father. Please. We, we can't go without you. Please, my princess, please. We won't go without you. What kept the princess? Tears in her eyes. She's so oh my angel, we couldn't wait, so we had to start eating. I hope all is well with you. Excuse me, Father. I'm done here. I hope you enjoyed your meal. Well, could have been better. 
My princess, you know, this palace can actually be better without all this tension. Oh, yeah, yeah, please spare me all that salmon right now. You know I have been boiling on the inside for some time now. That woman, way before she came into my father's life and became his wife. I mean, way, way before she became the queen that you address her as now, I have been my father's daughter. One that he loved very much. We can bet you that he loves you so much, my princess. He always calls us in private, asking us questions about his princess. If he doesn't care about you, he will not do that. All of this nonsense. I'm the one wearing the shoes, and so I know where it hurts the most. Yeah, granted, my father pays you girls a lot of money to make me happy. No, my princess. And, and as such, it makes sense that you defend his actions. I get it. But check this out. I do not want to talk about this matter again. I do not want to revisit it even. It's my war. And I will fight it my way. I don't know why I'm getting all this kind of treatment from her. I mean, I'm trying to be a nice mother to her, but she's not letting me. I have told you to stop bothering yourself. Stop bothering yourself about the princess attitude. She hates me. She hates me and I just don't know why. I can't understand it. Don't take it that way. She does not. Hmm? She doesn't hate you. Did you see the way she looked at me? I mean, her eyes were like blood red. My queen, ignorance. <clears throat> she doesn't know all the beautiful plans we have for her. I, I think she believes that you are making me look a little less at her. You're my wife. She is my daughter. Two very important women in my life. I believe it's something I can correct. So why don't you leave it to me? I'll have to solve this problem. Please do. I hope you're able to. I will. You're not drinking anything. Morning, princesses. How are you girls? Great. Um, this device has been acting up all day. I can't seem to get it right. I'm okay with that, my princess. Can I type a look? Please. Good morning, Good morning, Majesty. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, princess. Can I have some moment with the princess?
And how is my jewel this morning? I'm fine, Daddy. I was on my way out. Well, sorry, I, I'm not going to take your time. I just came to find out. My princess, why have you suddenly become so embittered and rude, especially to your mother? Huh. Oh, of course. She's your queen. Because you married her. She will certainly be queen to a lot of people here in this palace. But as far as I'm concerned, she's no queen. She's not my mother. She cannot even come close to being like my mother. Princess, what has she done? To deserve this ill treatment and disrespect that you give to her. The fact that I hate her should suffice. I hate her, Dad. I hate the authority, the aura of authority with which she parades herself around this palace like a queen. She's a gold digger, Dad. I forbid you. Listen, I forbid you to talk about your mother, the queen, this way. I forbid you to speak to her like this. I forbid you to tell her this kind of things or say it before me ever again. I forbid you! Look, I'm sorry. Princess, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to. Princess, please, please, please. Daddy, please. please. Oh. Let me go. I don't know why you're in a hurry to get an answer from me. I've told you to give me time. My love, have I not given you enough time already? Besides, there's nothing to think about. Those answers or words should be for, 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 for school girls. Eh? So you've been talking to those school girls? I have not been talking to any school girl. You understand? I can't stoop that way. You know me now. I'm a big boy. Ever since I came to this, I came back to this village. You are the only girl I've ever spoken to. So before you left for for Uwausa, how many women did you speak to? <laughs> but I told you that I was barely 12 years old when I left this village, and you don't expect me to go talking to a woman at that age. It's not possible. Do I know? Now, my love, let me tell you something. You are the only woman I want to talk to. I want to have in this our community as my woman. Are you sure? I can swear with my life. <clears throat> what, what do you mean by that? I want you to be the first and the last woman I want to have in this our land in Umokwarani. No one else. Okay, well, then give me time to think about it. I don't like it when a man rushes me. Okay, fine. I accept what you said. But at least, can I at least hold you? Hey! No, 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 don't hold me. People, people are watching. Let them watch. Let them watch. Uh, is it a crime to hold someone you love in Umobaran? Eh? I mean, at least I don't know much about our tradition ever since I came back. But I, I know it's not a crime. No, please don't hold my waist. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, please. Please, I, I don't want people seeing us like that. Okay, fine. Let me just hold your hand. Just your hand. I'm holding your hand. It's not a crime. You are my friend, and I am concerned about you. Didi, I have already given you an answer. I do not have anything with him. Eh? Yet, he's chasing you like that. Do you know what people are already saying about both of you? What? 
What are they saying? I am sure you don't want to hear any of them. I strongly advise you cut off whatever you have going on between both of you. Did you like I said earlier? I um, I don't have anything with him, eh? But if I decide to, is it going to be a taboo? I can't believe you just asked that. Do you even look at him? Does he not look notorious to you? Let me ask you, have you tried to find out why he hardly associates with any man from this kingdom? Is it that he's on his own? Or with some strange man? Eh? Yes. Ndidi. It's, it seems you've been doing a good job monitoring him. Eh, Kwa? Now let me tell you. Bond just returned from the north after 22 years. So he's trying to get himself acquainted with people. Hmm. So does that make him look weird or bad or whatever you're saying? Ha. Why are you sounding so defensive? Hmm. That should be my head. Wait, don't tell me you're falling for him already. In addition to what the king has already said, the company cannot wait to hear from us. They have everything planned out. All that remains is for us to say yes to them. No, no wait. Uh, let, let me get something clear here. I seem to be the only one who does not understand what's going on. <clears throat> uh, you said the company wants to erect a mast in our community. Hmm? How does that work concern us? <laughs> oh no. Please tell them more. It seems my explanation did not do a good job. <clears throat> Elders of Umokbala. According to the representatives of the company, okay. When their company decides to build a mast in a particular community, they seek the consent of that community. That's why they came. My question is, how do we benefit from the mast they are going to build? That's our major concern. The company is expected to pay a, the community a huge sum of money if we allow them to build their mast. And um, in addition, the GSM network coverage area in our community will greatly improve. In that case, what are they still waiting for? They should come and build as many masts as they want. <laughs> <laughs> you speak my mind, the Chenukako. The project is going to be very beneficial to our community. <laughs> so, so we we are in agreement. Yes. Means I should invite them to come. As long as they are going to make money available, so we, we are in agreement. Yeah. I, I like this kind of business. <laughs> I like it. We support you. All of us are supporting. I hate that house. Everything that goes on in that house makes me sick to my stomach. Your father loves you. And that alone should make you happy. Don't say that. I will say it again. Your father loves you. And that alone should make you try and accommodate the queen. Again. Do not say my father loves me because he doesn't. If he did, it was in the past, not anymore. Why would you say that? Because if he loved me, he would not have married that woman. He is king. The king should have a queen by his side. I understand if you miss your mother, but my dear, life should go on. The king should have a queen. Ever since she came into our home, ever since he married her, everything has changed. My father has has changed, he's, he's a different person. I don't even know him anymore. All he does now is, is go on and on about how much of a nice person she is. She's completely taking control of him. She's all over his head and he has forgotten me. Then talk to him. Right. I'm sure he will understand if you do. 
Come on, my dear. Stop letting all these things to get to you this way. All I wish for is that my mother will come back to life. I want my mommy. I want things to go back to the way they used to be. Even your mother will not like what you're doing right now. You have to cheer up and be yourself. I think I have to do something now. What? I would love to take my love to that place she loves visiting. No. No, I don't want to go anywhere. I just... I just came to be with you in this house and not any place else. TCC has decided to build a mast for Omo Palanri and my husband is very excited. I don't get it. What has that got to do with our family? <laughs> Have you forgotten that we need money more than anyone in this land? Have you forgotten that the bank loan we took in order to send Cheta abroad is due for the payment? Of course I know. Don't you talk about it every day? Cheta himself is even reluctant about. Oh, forget about that useless boy. Something tells me that he has squandered the man. But when TTC pays for the land, I will make sure I get a huge chunk out of that money. Then we can comfortably pay the bank loan with or without Cheta. Wow, that sounds big. <laughs> but I don't get it. Is the money not meant for the development of Umwa Palanri? <laughs> Pray that everything works out well. You will see how I will dive back the money into our pockets. I am the unofficial king ruling this land. I, I hope you are aware. <laughs> oh no, who my husband? I trust you. <laughs> Your prayers will be needed, my ever beautiful ones. Pray her. In fact, just pray. I will, my husband. I will pray very hard. Are you not mad? If you must see a man, must it be that notorious one? Now tell me, what do you know about him? What delights you in such a man? You're such a disgrace to this family. Ha! <laughs> Brother Mia, I don't know why you're saying all this. Did I tell you I have anything to do with him? And yet, you've been everywhere in Umwok Manari with him. And you have nothing to do with him. Hear yourself talk. Brother, he's a nice man. He's a very nice man. Really? And you said that before me? Well, that's the truth. Just that I haven't given his proposals some thoughts. What proposal? Oh, so he hasn't even proposed marriage to you? Uh, no, 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 no. No, he hasn't. So tell me. What other proposal? Uh, anyway, I know what to do. You don't know someone and you're already judging. Ha! You think if I decide to date him, you will stop me? After all, nobody stopped you from going out with that girl that went to Calabar to do prostitution. She's not picking her calls. And her maidens, they all have their phones switched off. Uh, your, your, your Majesty, if you will listen to what I have to say, I, I think we should call the police. You know, she left the palace in anger and right now we don't even know where she is. And if all her maidens have switched off their phones, then, I mean, that's it's even much more frightening. But why is she doing this? Why is she doing this? Your Majesty, rather than we sit here and ask questions. I mean, one thing, we don't even know where she is. I think the option is to make the move. Make a move, let's make a move. Thank you. 
Uh, you stop, stop that, stop that. You. Why did you allow the princess to stay this late? Uh, your Majesty. Um, uh, your Majesty, please. Take it easy on her, please. And why did you switch off your phones? Your Majesty, please. Take it easy on this maidens, please. I mean, we don't even know what must have prompted their actions. Um, um, listen, you girls go in, tidy up and get some rest. I don't get it. I don't understand this. Why are you defending them? Listen, you and I know that the princess must have asked them to switch off the phones. I mean, she must have told them to switch off those phones because she knows that when they see your call, they will have to pick it. I, I think the issue here is not about uh, it's not about the maidens, but the princess herself. Last black gates before the community school. This is the place. This is a compound. I should just go and knock. Maybe I should just knock. Don't let you. You scared me. I was wondering what you're doing outside my gates. Uh, did anyone tell you there's a land marked for sale around here? Your gates? Uh, well, <laughs> I am a man of this land who has lived the better part of his adult life in the north. Uh, precisely Joss, the main town in Joss. Yes. Nice. Um, I'm back now. You know, haven't established myself with a better roof over my head. I decided to go around and then uh, know our people and our culture. Yes. Nice, very, very nice. You see, listen to me very carefully. In the process of you educating yourself on people and culture, please avoid these gates. I don't understand avoid these gates. Is this place excluded from your parent? I don't know. Soon on your own, you will find out maybe this place is part of Umu Akbanari, Umu Adairi. Excuse me. Hey! Haba! This guy has just confused me. I confused the hell out of me. Mubarali and uh, Umar Dairi. Do we have Umar Dairi? No. They, they told me Umar Barali, not Umar Dairi. How did your day go, my princess? You know, you hardly tell me things anymore these days. I'm glad you're starting to notice. Oh, my princess, you know, the affairs of this kingdom is taking its toll on me. Seriously. <laughs> Indeed. I wish, I truly wish that it was the affairs of this kingdom that's taking all of your time. Why? Why would you think like that? Because, Daddy, when my mother was alive, was it not the same affairs of this land that you now claim to be burdensome on you that you were overseeing then? And now that my mother is no more, what has changed? Tell me what has changed. 
what is it that is new and different now that gets in the way of you caring for your own daughter? I'm listening to But princess, your father loves you. I wasn't talking to you. I mean, who made you judge over this topic? I'm talking to my father right here. Come on, princess. Come on. Where is that training I gave you as a growing child? She's now your mother. She's not my mother. Just because she married her into your life, made her your wife, does not mean that all of us are She's not my mother. She's not my mom. She can never, ever be my mother. She's only been a child. Don't take whatever she says seriously. Honestly. <laughs> I take Helen as my daughter. I mean, I don't know why she'll have to say to my face that she does not see me and can never see me as her mother. Queen Mother very well. She is a noble woman. I personally do not believe she hates you. Neka. My princess. Say what you know. My princess. She is right. If the queen is wicked, the women would have noticed the element of wickedness in her. <coughs> <coughs> the I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, mm -hmm. uh, Princess, I'd like to have a word with you. In that case, I think we should be. Oh no! You can stay. I mean, you're all her maidens in this palace, right? <sighs> um, the princess. You got the king and I really worried when you stomped out angrily from the palace. I mean, you refused to pick your calls. And you even asked your maidens to switch off the phones. I mean, I don't know. Is there anything that I've done wrong? you um you see i really would like things to go better with us i i i love you and i would i would want us to be close i don't like the way things are going on between the two of us I I would like you to be close to me like you're close to your mother. Um, well, I know that <laughs> they call me Her Majesty the Queen, but I'm only human. I'm just a woman. I have my flaws. And if I've done anything wrong, I'm willing to apologize. I want you to take me as your mother. I may not be able to do as much or love you as much as she did, but I can try. I am willing to give it my best, my very best.
don't worry guys. Okay, I can handle it. <sighs> Allow me to talk to her. I'll be with you guys later. Yeah, okay. you can go. Sad princess, so much sadness in her world. I am happy you're now out. <clears throat> it feels like a million years in there. Babe, it feels good to be out and free. What about those fools that got you into this mess in the first place? Oh, but please, let's not talk about those people. See, what I wish to discuss now is what will make me happy. I understand. I'm sorry for bringing that up. So tell me, what do you wish to discuss? You know now. Mr. French, Ed is now a big boy. You still remember him? <laughs> Why not? The love of my life. I can't wait to see him. I'm afraid you may have to reconsider your move. For what? Do you know I thought of him every second in there? There's this room of flying that he's been seeing the princess. That's rubbish. What princess? Princess Celine, of course. They've been spotted together so many times. That cannot happen. No woman can take my man away from me. I am back. She must back off. I suggest you let them be. And focus on how you're going to pick up with your life. Ugo, please. Please don't tell me that. Do you even know what you're talking about? My own Mr. Friend. The only man I have truly loved in my life. No, no. <laughs> I know that distance and time must have caused our love to grow cold. But I will rekindle the fire. I am just wondering what you think you can do to take a man from a princess. What I readily know is that you don't know me so well. Princess, my foot. Even if she's the queen herself, she cannot take my man. I am Patricia that knows it all. You shall watch me do what I have to do. Mr. School Principal, from all that you have said, it is obvious that you don't want development in my kingdom. I am sorry you see it that way, Your Majesty. I am totally in support of development of Umwabalanri Kingdom. But what we are talking about here is the health and lives of our people, especially that of those that are within the community school. How does building a mass translate to endangering life? Your Majesty, we have heard stories of how dangerous it is to erect communication masts where people live. With me here is uh, Mr. Obaleke. He's a medical practitioner and the chairman of the Brains Teachers Association. He's here to educate you more on this matter. Educate me more. But since you have brought him, let him educate me more, Mr. Medical practitioner. Thank you, Onyeze. May you live long. You see, building a foam mast is a good thing. It facilitates communication. It also has some health hazards, especially if erected close to residential areas. Onyeze. I have heard that a thousand times since you walked into this place. The health hazards go straight to the point. Thank you, Onyeze. According to medical research, the hazards of foam masks include permeation of blood-brain barrier. It also damages DNA and thyroid gland. The most commonness is that it causes electromagnetic hypersensitivity. In some cases, it causes cancer. I'm sometime death. When is it? All this grammar translates to rejecting development in my kingdom? No, Your Majesty, we are not talking about money. What we are talking about is the, the, the lives of our people and... What are we talking about? You are talking about rejecting the money that would have come into this kingdom. Not at all, Onyeze. When we heard that TTC company wants to erect their mast in the school compound, knowing 
the health consequences. We had a meeting and we decided to come and meet you to please ask them to choose another site. We're not, we are not asking them not to build their masts. All we are saying is that it must not be in the school premises. That's all. Glad you. Think about it. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you, Your Majesty. The way you are sounding is confusing to us. My fellow elders, no, no. Are, are we on the same page? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Please, if you don't mind, explain for that to us. We were all excited when we heard about this. But why the sudden change of mind? Why? <sighs> I understand perfectly well what you're saying. But I have not done anything. What I am saying is what I gathered from the principal of our community secondary school and the chairman of the PTA whom I was told is a medical doctor. What they said. Some enemies of the elders in council are planning to see us lose this money. How can a mere phone mask cost a problem? Ask me. Oh no. Ask me. They are suggesting that they must be moved away from the living areas of the community. Even if the people say they want to build the mast next to the market. How is that a problem? I will suggest that we forget about that principle that is posing as if he knows everything. We agree that he is a knight. Let him remain in his house. Money is coming to us and we the elders in council must collect that money. I know. And I agree with you. But I will not do anything until I have heard from the TTC people. But, but, but your, 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 your Majesty, the way you are sounding, you are making us feel as if you are no more committed to this, this beautiful business. So, I, don't, I don't know. Um, if that be the case, Your Majesty, we are going to suggest that you delegate the responsibility to us. We can handle it. Am I not speaking your mind? Of course, we can handle it. We can. Well. You don't have anything to worry. Okay? You don't have anything to worry. All I am waiting for is to hear from the TTC people so that I will know what to reply to the community when they come. Remember, the health and lives of our people are a priority, isn't it? Of course. Yes, yes, but um, this is business. Uh, should I tell you the truth? Do not go there at all. And I'm asking you why. Why are we so conscious of money that we can no longer reason like the people that suckled on their mother's breast? We all know that anything that bothers on human life is very important. If what the principal said is true, that the mast is dangerous to health, then we should ask TTC never to come here again. And all the companies that have already erected their own should come and remove it. Done! Can, can you imagine what this man is saying here? Can you imagine this? Huh? Why, why didn't you say this rubbish in the presence of Oyeze? Why are you raising this issue right here on the, on, on the road? Why? You should quite understand that I cannot say that before Oyeze. Or do you want me to be in his bad book? So then you shouldn't say it at all. As men increase in age, their bills also increase. Do not say or do anything that will make men lose money. Someone like Ono will set you ablaze. If it happens, he will, in fact, he will eat you raw. Why are we so concerned about money? 
at the detriment of our health. Because money answered all things. It's even in the Bible. It says, bring the money. Let the money come. And let the sickness come too. Is it not money you will use in treating the sickness? Huh? Nonsense. Ah, I can't believe you are saying this. And you do. Birds of the same feather. Look at them. Cowards. I don't only pay for my visa, my flight ticket, and my accommodation. So what money are you talking about? So what business are you talking about too? Most of it! Chisano! What are you saying? No, wait. Let me ask you. Cheta, what money did you say could not do anything for you? Ten million naira? Mom, dad? Ten million naira is too small. Oh, okay, <laughs> I understand, I understand. I understand where you're going to. I understand, and, and, you know, in this country, 10 million naira is too big. But dad, over there, 10 million naira is nothing. It's nothing. Do you know that I could not even use 10 million naira to buy 2017 Methodists? They could not even buy it. So what is 10 million naira? Hey, chill, man, chill. May the gods shut that your mouth for you forever. Do you have an idea how I got that money? After I sold my lands for you and you failed to deliver, I have to borrow that money from the bank. After much persuasion from you and your mother. And you are here telling me what? Chetanya. Chetanya. Do you want to kill us before our time? What is it? Eh? What is it? Uh, uh, mom, mom, I'm trying. I'm trying. Do you know I push life? You don't know that I tried, but it, it, it could not work. No work. So what are you saying? I'm going to ask you one question, young man. You promised to bring back that money and all its interests. Now I ask, where is it? I don't, I don't understand. Do you know? Do you know I barely survived over there? Do you know how I eat? You don't know anything. And you're here telling me about money, money. There's no money. I got no money. I got no money. And you came back? Hi. Oh, my God. Look. Cheta, you cannot be in this house. Do you hear me? You have to go back to wherever you are coming from and get that 10 million naira. That is all. Because. Because there will be no story about it. That is all I have to tell you. That is all. Jesus, do you want us to kill ourselves for you before you become useful to us or even yourself? But me, mom, I don't understand. Why you people? Why? Why you would not want to understand me in this house? Why? Mom, this is life. You don't know life. You're old lady. You don't know life. I know life. I know life, and I will push life. And I will continue to push life until I survive. I will keep pushing, pushing, pushing until I survive. Okay? Oh. You don't know life. You're still pushing, Chetana. So, your still pushing is what we're going to go and tell the bank that we borrowed money from. Oh, you're still pushing. Uh, Chetana! I don't understand. Tell me. Mommy, tell me what have I not done to become a successful man? Tell me. What are you people talking about? Our life, money, life, money. I don't. The same old story. We sold all our lands and sent it to Germany. Four years later, you came back and said, America is what was happening. Your father went to the bank, borrowed millions of naira, and now you are back with the same old story. Chetana! Uh, are you on that cost or something? Uh, you know what? You know what? You know what, I, I think uh, this conversation is over. Um, you and your husband should sort this out. For me, I'm going out there to chill, man. Chill, man. Hey! I will see you later. I'm going to chill. I will see you later, okay? Everything will be fine. There will be another way out. 
And you know your health condition. Please, stop worrying. Mother is okay, please. She's okay. Yes? Oh, fair, you're here. Yes. Who was, um, who was the guy I saw on my way? Who was my brother? Your brother? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> to, the, to the best of my knowledge, you have just one brother. And that's Chetana, who lives in the US. So, what are you talking about? The person you saw outside is Chetana. He came back three days ago. It's a lie! And you didn't tell me? <laughs> it's a lie! Th that, that guy was Chetana? Per, he is. And there is nothing to tell. He came back three days ago. Please, can we discuss something else? But you? Mm. I'm trying to say you do not miss me. Huh? How was life in prison? You just forgot about me the moment I got in there. Anyways, I'm out and better. You're out and you're dressed this way. Did you look yourself in the mirror? Let's see how you're dressing. You're out and worse. Nothing is wrong with my dressing. Come on, tell me you don't like it. Hmm? Hmm? Tell me you don't like it. Stop, stop. If you want, why did you stop? Patricia, stop now. I'm with someone. I know all about that, but don't worry. I am out. So we can kick off from where we stopped. I see, Patricia, I cannot leave her for you, for anything. I love her very much. Patricia, you call me Patricia. It used to be party, baby. Come on, friend, baby. You just have to stop, please. Please, I'm with someone now, please. Really? Not like, are we really over? Yes. Well, we are not over until Party Baby says so. I'm hungry. Hope you have some food in that kitchen. Patricia, Patricia, you have to leave now. Please come out from there. Come out from there. You have to leave now. Party? Patricia! I don't get it. What's his business? I have the right to date any man I want. Hey, you have to choose rightly. Besides, he's your brother. He's just protecting you. To me, what matters is the feeling between two people and how good the person is. Mr. Bond is a good man. I have taken my time to study him and I'm very certain that he will make me happy. You make me laugh. Apart from his name, Probably his house. What else do you know about him? For instance, what does he do for a living? Um, I, I, I will get to know all that when, 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 I, when I finally give him a chance. I can see you have made up your mind already. But you have to come up with a plan on how to handle your brother. Now that he has disapproved, I don't think he will ever change his mind. Well... Now that he has disapproved, for once, I feel it's high time I accepted Bond's proposal. Stubborn goods, you will never change. I'll be here watching Why the drama unfolds. Uh, hey. You haven't told me anything about Chetan. Fair please now. Can we not talk about Chetan now? Please, there is nothing to talk about. Just, just Stop asking me about him. Ah, Ndidi, why the frown on your face whenever I talk about Chetana? Or don't I deserve to know anything? You deserve to know everything. But there is nothing to tell. There is nothing to talk about. Believe me, there is nothing. Someone that just returned from the States. Well, please, can we talk about something else? How did this come upon you? I don't understand. 
That boy has finished me. How am I supposed to pay that loan? This is not the first time he's doing this to you. It is the second time. I don't understand why, Cheta, my only son for that matter has refused to be useful to himself. Anyway, I had decided to ignore him. My only concern now is how paid you know. How much are we talking about? A whooping 10 million naira. No. We need say 10 million naira. Oh no, and never. Oh no, you've always watched my back. Listen, if not for the support you and others, especially you, oh no, and never. If not for the singular support that you have given me, I will not be able to hold this throne. Some other person, you know, would have been schemed in and made the Igwe of this kingdom. But for your singular support, Oh no, no king, what his name, will take such loyalty for granted. <laughs> oh yes, that is an old story. Kingship has come to stay in the house of Omeka Naya's family. After you have reigned as Ezebubi the second, your son, Prince Nonsu, will reign as Ezebubi the third. So shall it continue. <laughs> oh no, who <we're> gonna? <laughs> oh no, truly, you have always had my back. And that is nothing compared to 10 million naira. It's nothing. Yes. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry. You and I will sit and work outside. Mm -hmm. The banks will not come for you. Not while I reign as the king of this kingdom. <laughs> If I say I live for you, I will not be telling lies. Eze Bube, the greatest man that have lived in this kingdom. Omeko Okuru, the first and the last. <laughs> I will ever remain loyal to you. Um, oh no. What was it you said about my reign? You know, um, talk to talk to my right ear. For for the left one is death. <laughs> you shall reign forever. He said. From one generation to another generation, your offspring shall be called royalty. Spineless coward! Come out! Come out there, you spineless coward! Come 
you the one who called you. Is this the madman? I beg your pardon? I beg your own pardon. What is going on here? And who are you guys? <laughs> Let me remind you, it seems you have forgotten. My name is Duncan and Perpetua is my little sis. So who is Perpetua? <laughs> that clears my suspicion that all you want to do is to play your useless game with my little sis. That sounds strange, man. Who's playing games? What Who's are we sis? wasting our time for? Let's give this guy our message and leave here. What are you talking? You see, he's pretending to be a gentleman. So, let us handle this in a gentleman way. Guy, I know you're nothing close to a gentleman, but for the purpose of this meeting, let us keep the pretense alive. Perpetua is my little sis that you've been seeing all over ever since you returned from wherever I know. Well, I only know one girl. Her name is Pep. I don't usually call her her name because I call her my love, sweetheart, and other beautiful sweet name. Will you shut up? How dare you say this to my face? I will tell you this and never to repeat myself again. My sister is not your match, so you must not be seen around her again. Do you hear me? Why? Why? I love her. Planning to get married to her if she says yes. I repeat myself. You must not be seen around her again. You heard him clearly. Do you need a repeat? Tell him again, guys. We don't want to see you close to her again. For your own good and that of your family. Okay? You are a foreigner in this land. Do not let us fix you because of a woman. Guys, sure. You heard it. Let's go. Stupid young Next time if we come back, you will like what we do to you. Boy. Look at them. If not for love, I would have taught you guys a lesson you will never forget in a hurry. Look at what love has done to a man's heart. May Allah be praised. How long do I hear? So, you did not tell me that you are such an expert. Ha <laughs> ha! Daddy! Well, if you put it like that, mm -hmm. maybe. I mean, a little bit exaggerated, but uh, I couldn't work, Daddy. I'm still learning. Really? Yeah. Then, um, maybe, perhaps, I should get it for you on your birthday. Ha! Huh. Daddy, please. <laughs> I already pre ordered for it through my brother who is visiting soon, so. So, yeah. Uh -oh. Okay. Maybe I should get you something else. Yes, Daddy, do that. Alright. Do that. <laughs> well, my hmm. Have I not been searching everywhere for my husband? <laughs> my angel, my, my angel caught me tonight. <laughs> Am I supposed to be jealous? Jealous? Wait a minute. What is that supposed to mean? I can't spend some time with my father again? Come on, princess. The queen was only teasing. Well, I don't like to be teased, Dad. It's very typical of her. Always trying to hijack any little moment she sees me having with my father. Princess. He is my husband. I mean, are you saying that I cannot Demand to have my husband all to myself? <laughs> okay. Dear Queen, need I remind you that before you became my father's wife, he had a wife. His wife was my mother. My mom was his wife. And I 
his daughter. And that would mean that way before you came into his life, I have for a very, very long oh, time no, been in my mother's life. Stop! Stop it! The queen was only joking with you. Daddy, she's not joking! She knows what she's doing! She's trying to rip us apart and you're letting her! I mean, can't you even Princess. see it? It's the bond we share, Daddy. Princess! Please don't say that! Such a pity that I am the only one that sees you for the real you. I hate you. I hate you so bloody much. I hate your guts. Most importantly, I hate the game you're playing in this palace. But we'll see. Your Majesty, I was only teased, just teasing. I know. But perhaps it was a little bit heavy on her. The next time, try to make it easy for her, please. However, just ignore her for now. The princess I know will come around, okay? So tell me, why do you seek me out this night? Well, Your Majesty, you have to come with me to the bedroom to find out. Oh, really? Yes. Why are we wasting time? I, I've come to give you an answer. Yes. Yes, I'll be your girlfriend. You're not... You're not happy to hear that. <laughs> your brother was here. When? Why? What? Why? 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 Hey, what? calm down. It's nothing. He only came to show how precious you are to him. And I understand perfectly well. No, 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 no. I, I, I know my brother too well. He couldn't have come here in peace. Tell me, what, what happened? Please. Does it matter? It doesn't matter to me. You know why? Because we're in this together. You've accepted me. And that's taking care of it all. So calm down. Hey, come here. And I will do anything to make you happy. Your happiness is my joy. I, I love you too. You, you seem real to me. And I will do everything to make this work. Really? Yes. Ow. Why did you leave? Why? Look at what is happening to me. The woman that my father brought home has torn us apart. Father doesn't have my time any longer. He does not love me anymore, mother. All he does is think of her. If only you did not go. 
If only you didn't leave me alone in this cruel world. matter do you know you can confide in me please tell me Princess Helen, it's me. Oh, are you? Yes, I barely know you. How you've changed? You've changed so much. I changed? You're not my daughter. The daughter I had was respectful, kind, and happy. No, you're not my daughter. I am your daughter. No. Mother, I'm still the same person. Please wait for me. No. Mother, don't leave me. Please stay with me. Oh, take me along with you, mother, please. I... Please, mother, please. Mother, mother. Ah. Ah, my princess, are you okay? Oh, mother, please. Do you mean the queen? Should I call her for you? No. No, I'm talking about my mother. I saw my mother in my dream. She was so upset. She was angry at me. She said that that she doesn't recognize me anymore, that now I am disrespectful and rude, and, and then she walked away. My princess, please calm down. It's just a mad dream. Okay, please oh. calm down. Is it morning yet? Yes, it's morning and remember today is a special day. Hmm. What's the occasion? Ah, the prince is coming in today. The prince? Yes. Oh my god! Is today the fourth? Yes, please. How could I forget? <laughs> How could I forget? Yes, and uh, the king has already asked. I'm just get ready. I'll take a quick shower. So much sadness in her world, sad princess. Uncle, are you serious about this? Do I look like I'm joking? We left him after he told us that he would look into it. We were hoping to hear from him and the next thing is the TTC has started work in the school compound. Uncle, if all you said about the health hazards of having a foam mast amongst the people is true and you equally told the king about it, why then would he still erect it in the community school compound? Does it, does it mean he does not care about the lives of his own people? No. You ask as if you're a stranger to this kingdom. Sister, 
See, we have always known that Eze Bube has never had the interest of people at heart in this kingdom. This is the height of it. This has to do with life. His concern is the money he's going to make from this project. That's all. Are they going to pay him? Of course, that is usually the case. Uh, communication companies pay the host community. Hmm. And definitely the money will go to his and his elders and council's pockets. It's not as if they will even use the money to develop this kingdom. What we have under Ezebu Bay is not the umobalanry of our dreams. Obole cha cha. The same thing I say always. Uncle, Eze Bube has never ruled us well. So it is unacceptable for anyone to tell me that his son will continue as the king. You see, if we succeed in forcing the king and the council of elders into rotational kingship, which is the norm in all civilized kingdoms and communities, what this means is that we, the Okereke family, will produce the next king. Um, uh, um, um, uh, um, uh, Uncle, are you serious? Why would it be our turn? Because the Okereke family is the head family in line to Ndi Ojiani. You, Duncan, could easily emerge as the next king because in the absence of your father, who is the only choice if it falls to our family? You are the only one we will look up to in all fairness. Yes, there are so many things that need to be questioned in this kingdom. How do you joke, Ali? You are most welcome back home to Umwok Balanwe Kingdom. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. <laughs> wow. Welcome back, Prince. We are happy to have you back home. Oh, <laughs> I am the happiest. It's so good to see my people once again after so many years in France. I know. Uh, <laughs> look at my sister. <laughs> She's so big and beautiful. <laughs> I, I sure know what sisters would have started coming. Sure, of course, of course. <laughs> wow. Oh hey, look at her. <laughs> so big. <laughs> Mom, what have you been feeding her? <laughs> oh, man. It's so nice to see the smile on her face, and it's been a long while. We saw her this happy. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well, if you'll excuse me, Daddy, brother, I will be in my room. Dad, is everything okay? Sure, son. Everything is alright. <laughs> there's, there's no problem. Everything is fine. <laughs> it's alright. Mom? Everything is fine. Your Majesty, by the orders of the coup, I announce that the royal banquet is set to welcome Prince Nansu back in the palace. Gentlemen and ladies, what are we waiting for? Let's rise. <laughs> <laughs> I hate her guts. Imagine her telling that to my brother on the very day he just arrived. My love, calm down. I'm sure he meant no harm. She talks too much. She talks out of tune. In fact, I 
I'm starting to wonder just how much he, she talks to my dad about me. Maybe a lot. That should explain why my father has changed towards me a lot, don't you think? She's the queen. Your stepmother. You must not talk about her in that manner. See, this is Africa. I mean, in Africa here we don't do... We remove all the step and all the stepmother, whatever. You understand? She is your mother and you are her daughter. Clearly you do not know how I feel right now. I'll talk to you later. Who is it? <laughs> how can I make this girl to understand that this is Africa? And we don't be an unnecessary crotch here. Whoever you are, just stay out. I want to be alone. Brother, you need to understand them. They are humans too. I need to understand them, I know. But tell me, is it my fault that my efforts are not yielding any fruit? It might not be your fault. It's neither mom's nor dad's fault too. So is that why they are treating me like an outcast? Yeah, that is why I said you should understand them. Just give them some time. Remember that borrowed that money from the bank. Hoping hey, that hey, hey, hey. Something else like what? Is there anything else more important than the welfare of this family? Let's talk about the girl I saw coming in the other day. Uh, is she your friend? Which of my friends? Mm, that uh, target that used to uh, put down her face and, and, and whenever she saw me. <laughs> so that is the only thing you remember pair with? Pear? Is it her name? Yes. Wow. I do remember. <laughs> I'm surprised. You didn't even recognize her. How could I? She has changed a lot. Wow. She, she has grown. And she looked more beautiful than before. Oh. My brother now noticed that my friend has grown and more beautiful. Yet. He didn't even notice that his own sister has grown and beautiful too. Little sister, you know and I know you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, tell me, tell me about her. There's nothing to tell. She was my friend, she's my friend, she has been my friend. So nothing to tell. Nothing to tell. I don't believe when my sister told me you are the same uh, uh, baby I used to know. Hey, <laughs> why would that be? I mean, what, what has changed about me? It's not obvious, can't you see? You are not a bold girl. You, you, you are not like this before. <laughs> I guess you still remember how shy I used to be. <laughs> shy is understatement. Say, I. Before, you don't used to talk to anybody. You don't used to talk to anybody's face, especially a man. <laughs> well, maybe that was because I was childishly crushing on you. <laughs> Are you serious? Wow! <laughs> you're, you're crushing on me? No? Well, like I said, it was a childish crush. Maybe that was because I didn't know much then. Um, uh, you see, uh, you don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell me it was nothing because right now I'm crushing on you. Really? Yes. Can't you see it? <laughs> mm, okay. Now I guess it's my turn to pretend like you do not exist. Just like you did to me. Um, see, I was totally ignorant of the fact that you liked me. And uh, uh, so tell me. What do you say you are waiting for? Let's go out. Maybe go somewhere, take one or two bottles. You know how we do it over there. We chill, we chill, we chill. Uh, uh, actually, I was waiting for... Oh, here he comes. Oh, sweetheart. Uh, you need one? Uh, uh, you kept me waiting. I'm sorry. I was calling your phone. I kept calling it. What happened now? My love, my battery went off. 
You know how eclectic the electricity here is. Anywhere I'm here already. Shall we? I'm sorry. Sure. Let's go. Okay. Can I see her? So, I kept coming. What just happened now? Who is this animal that could not even as little as acknowledge the presence of a guy like me? And what are they? A couple? No, that cannot be. I have to find out what is happening. Pep is mine. I have always known that she is mine. What you decide as a man is actually of no concern to me. My primary concern is your future. I really want to see you happy. Sometimes the way you talk, my love, reminds me of my mother. She was just like you. She was so much concerned. Do I have a choice? As a friend, and as the only woman in your life, like you've made me believe, my duty is to be committed to your progress. Or don't you think so? You're correct, my love. See, that's why I said meeting you was a kind of divine arrangement. Sweet as. I will forever hold you in high esteem. <clears throat> One more thing, baby. Please. I would love you to cut down the way you spend on your friends. Baby, believe you me, they will abandon you the moment you go broke. Please. These words give me good spimples. Are you sure you're not my mother? Oh, please. <laughs> I can never be like your yeah, mother. But you never can tell. You never can tell. You, you're an amazing woman. You make me love you more. My love, I promise never to disappoint. You see, you are the woman God has given to me at a platter of gold. Your happiness matters to me the most. Come here. I love you so much. I love you too. I'm very disappointed in you. Why did you do that? To what? You know what I'm talking about. What? I'm talking about yesterday. Why did you walk out on everyone? The king and the honor. You even refused joining us at the royal banquet in order to see anyone. What is the problem? This palace is the problem. And with the palace being the problem, I feel like I'm choking to death. Really? But father never mentioned it. Well, how can he mention it when he, all by himself, is the problem? Our father is no longer the man you knew him to be. He has changed. Completely. He changed from the moment he married that woman. I'm telling you. She... Come on, princess. You know that cannot be true. Father loves you more than he loves anyone. That was in the past. He doesn't love me anymore. That woman has... Now, so what do you know, really? She just came back. I give you a couple of days and everything I'm telling you about right now will unfold before your very eyes. She's evil. 
She's nothing but a green snake living under the green grass. She oh, come on, come on, princess. In as much as this is the first time I am seeing the new queen, she does not look like someone that would take father's love all to herself. You would think so, but no, no. She is nothing but a green snake under the green grass. She's just completely taking my father's love from me. Oh, I will see what I can do before I go back. Do that, because I'm losing my mind over here. Nevertheless, that still does not change the fact that it is rude and disrespectful for you to walk out on the king and the owner in council. Please, don't do that again. You are not my daughter. The daughter I had was respectful, kind and happy. No, you are not my daughter. I am your daughter. No. Mother, I'm still the same person. Please wait for me. No. Mother, don't leave me. Please stay with me. Or oh, take me along with you, mother. Please. I... Please, mother, please. I just said something, you act like you didn't hear what I said. Princess! What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard you. Please don't do it next time. We all can pretend as if all is well, but clearly it is not. Sir, I am not pretending that all is well, both in this kingdom and in this house. We all saw what happened yesterday at the reception. The princess seems not to be happy about anything. I noticed. I noticed that too, but you know your sister. She just um, throws tantrums. But father, that is what we have known her for. That, I think sometimes we should also look into her reasons too. You know how delicate she can be. See son, I have tried talking to her. But your sister has not given me any good reason for her behavior. So I just let her no, be. No dad, she is that, adult. that is not going to help in any way. That you know how mother treated her. She was raised that way, yes! Now that mom is no more dad, we have to continue from where she stopped. You know I love the princess. I know that. You know, don't you? I know. Fine. But she needs to grow up. I am not going to continue to show her love by babysitting her. Dad, is she not the only woman? That reminds you of mother, the woman you used to love so much. Son, don't take me back. Please. That mother will not be happy wherever she is. That the princess is being neglected. For her sake, dad, please show her some love. Dad, please show her some love. I, I, I understand the fact that uh, you have a new wife. Things can never remain the same. But let to love the way you have always shown her. Dad, I don't want my sister to be sad. Or well, I might end up taking her to France. You will do no such thing. Then Dad, show her that love mother used to when she was here. Your joy is my happiness. Please take this look off your face. I don't like it. How can I? How can I when someone is busy enjoying what should have been ours? What is it? It's about the kingdom. My uncle told me that if things were working the way they should, then it would have been my family's turn to produce the king. Use the king? How? 
I don't, I don't get it. How will you understand when you've spent almost all your life in the north? You don't make me understand. Make me understand because this is bothering you. For the fact it's bothering you is giving me so much concern or so. At least I'm here. I've managed to put all this together because I'm not going back to the north. So make me understand. I've come to stay. Just... I'm just sad. Just... I'm just sad. Talk to me, my love, please. That should be the list of your problems. I can't believe you're bothered about that. Why would I be bothered? Tell me, why would I be bothered? That girl confessed to me that she was crushing on me. So I was trying to uh, uh, work things out, talk to her, so that I let me know whether things can work out. That stupid boy, that son of nobody, that animal, bite you and spoil everything. That son of nobody, that animal, is the person she's with now. Pay is not available, so back off! Yes, she's not available because she's hanging out with the guy I saw today. Even if she's available, women should be the least of your problems. Just focus on how to pick up the broken pieces of your life for Christ's sake. Excuse me? What did you just say? You heard me. Wait, are you trying to advise me what? Are you stupid? Just slap you now. Chitana, should you not be ashamed that your younger sister is the one advising you? Chitana, who has cursed you? Excuse me. Mom. Mom, please, I'm not cursed. Please. I'm sure you're not aware. But surely you're cursed. Mother, please don't say that. Why won't I? So Chitana, after all your failures, after wasting millions and millions of naira, you come back home and all you can think about is how to chase a girl. A small girl, your sister's friend, and you're willing to fight for that. What is wrong with that? Tell me what is wrong with that? Mama, I, I, won't I get married? Please, mom, don't tell me that. She's no longer a child. Tell me, mom. Have you, see, see, mom, have you not taken time to look at her bosoms? Mom, tell me. Have you not seen it? She said, now you want to get married without a cobble in your pocket. Is that how other men marry? Mom, have you not heard that some men's destinies do not shine until they take wives? Oh, maybe I might be one of those men. So what are you talking about? I pity the unfortunate girl that will accept you. Do you realize you're the only son of your father? Why have you decided to be totally useless to us despite all our efforts? Uh, mom, I'm not ready for this now. Hmm? Only son. Yes, the only son. Was I the one that stopped people from having as many sons as you, as you want? Was I? Nonsense. What about the time God said to you, you stole out of the house? You useless fool! Mother, what? I don't think you're having issues. Calling him those negative names will neither do him nor any of us any good. So please, please, stop laying curse on him. I thought you were the one that was speaking sense into him just now. Yes, mother, I was the one. Haven't you noticed that each time you want to speak to him, he stands out of the house? That should tell you you're doing it in the wrong way. Excuse me. Hey. I hope I have not brought two idiots into this world as children. Hey. The first idiot is busy wasting my our wealth. And the second idiot is supporting him. What does His Majesty want? My princess, just to have a nice and a wonderful, precious, private time with my Joel. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Daddy. You see, princess, I was actually wondering the last time we had that um, 
favorite ice cream of ours. You remember? My brother has had a talk with you. Huh. Clearly my brother has spoken with you. The prince. Why? Because, Daddy, I don't remember the last time you made reference to one of the beautiful moments we used to have in the past. Sweetheart, it's not as if it's not on my mind. But my schedule has been so tight lately. Daddy, your schedule was always tight all the time our mother was alive. But you found a way around it regardless. Daddy, what happened to us? We used to be tight. I mean... They used to be us. What happened? Princess. Princess, allow your mother get the rest she deserves. Forget about the past. This is a new beginning. A new us. Okay? Just go in there and get dressed. And we'll go out together. Just the two of us. Are you serious, Daddy? Just us. You're not pulling my leg? No. Come on, girl. Yes. I love you, Daddy. I love you too, Now, you go get dressed. I'll be downstairs. I will even drive you myself. Oh, my God, Daddy! Love you, baby. I love you, baby. Okay. Love you, baby. Love you too, Charlie. Alright. Your Majesty, we've been trying to talk to her. She's not listening to anyone yet. But I'm certainly sure she will come around soon. I trust you absolutely. And I know that um, she does not joke with your counsel. Your Majesty, I'm sorry you might be wrong on that. You see, since Princess Helen lost her mother, she's been very unpredictable. She hardly even listens to anyone. Hmm. I noticed that already and I'm, I'm wondering what I've done wrong because I love her like a daughter and I'm willing to do anything for her. We all know you mean well, Your Majesty. And we're hoping that Princess comes around. I hope so too. Story. Yes. Not only did I get to spend quality time with my daddy over here, I got the most, most amazing gift. I mean, can you, can you believe that? Daddy, thank you again. Thank you so much. I love my car. I wish I could be that spirit as well. Ooh. Isn't this beautiful? Daddy, thank you again. Wow. Thank you so much. So nice to see you happy now. <laughs> it gladdens my heart, you know. Yeah. It gladdens my heart, really. I mean, this is a lot better than those unhappy moments. <laughs> and um, when the princess is happy, 
everyone else around the palace is happy. <laughs> and my dear, I am happy the way you are now. <laughs> Bless you. Look at my car! Look at my car! Well, you know why I'm laughing at you? I'm laughing at you because I don't know what to do to you right now. Fight! That's what makes you a man! Why? I love your sister. Why? You are mad. You are mad. Whatever you call yourself. Did I not want you to stay away from my sister? Did I not want you to stay with my sister who come for my trouble? Did I not? And tell me, is this what you call trouble? Is this what you call trouble? I will not allow any idiot to stay with my sister. I will fight anyone with the last drop of my blood. I am not playing with your sister. I love pets, and that is what I want you to understand. Do not love her, okay? Look for the guests of your caliber to love. What's what's all this? What, what's happening here? Hey, 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 hey! Stop it! Stop! Bon, I saw this idiot pushing you, and you allowed him. Oh, what can he do? He cannot do anything as empty as his head is. No, no, no! Hold it there. Did you just call him empty? You must be the one who is empty. Mr. Bond! Let's have it for this guy. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my lady, say, hey, hey, hey. The reason why I allowed you to do this nonsense is because of the love I have for your sister. Now, I will advise you to go home. Go home and chill. Because you cannot stop us. The earlier you realize this, the better for us. Now, get out. Get out! You, Bond, I'm not done with you yet. Forget the fact that you sold your family land and built this house. You have no visible means of livelihood. Stay away from my sister. Get us here. Come on. Nonsense! But tape is no more a kid. No, no. I, 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 I do not see reason why any person would be interfering in her decisions. Don't worry. I know I don't have a sister, but I think I understand it. She's just trying to be protective. That's all. Protective, wow. Mr. Yes. Bond. Are you the one saying this? Well, I'm saying it. I mean, the Mr. Bond I know very well. We blow off that guy's tattoo teeth. Exactly. Uh -uh. Why would you allow that guy to be pushing you and hitting you like that? Uh -uh. Uh, I believe he's going to be my in-laws sometime in the future. So I have no reason to ruin my chances. Wow. Bond, aka Mr. Lover, is in love. In love. Can in love. You can't see it. You can't feel it. This man I knew very well. I was thinking th that girl was one of the girls. Hey, hey, please, Kennedy, don't go there. That's enough. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Wow. <laughs> one of his still not enough. Lover boy. <laughs> Are you angry? Wait for us now. <laughs> Lover boy. Cheta Biko. Biko. Do, do, do. I am begging you in the name of whatever you worship. Allow me now, eh? Leave me alone. I'm already running late. You're running late to me? Don't tell me you want to go and see that idiot, that mafian, that son of a body. Don't tell me that. You are calling my bond names. Oh. Hey! That is what he is. He is mafian. Do you know sometimes? I keep on wondering, wondering what you're doing with that idiot, that lost son of his father. That, do, do you know what he does in this land? You don't know. Let me tell you. What he does, he sells. He you're even resell the one he sold already. That's what he does. You don't know that. You don't know that. I push life. I push life. I keep on pushing until I end it. Until I make it. That's what I do. We push life. We push life. Hey, hey, hey hold on, hold on, hold on. Have you tried to investigate his background? Have you? You have not. Is it? 
I can see you're making good use of your time running an investigation. You think he's a lost son of his father, Ekwa? Now for your information. Bond left for Joss after his mother died. And he has been in constant communication with his father up until his death. So do not ever think that you're better than him. Are you, are you, are you mad? Tell me. Are you trying to compare me ah, and that idiot? Eh? Are you mad? I'll stop you now. Get, I, you I have no business with you. Leave me alone. Just move out. I have no business with you. I have no business with you. Stay here. 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 Leave me alone, Kiyo! Leave me alone, Kiyo! Leave me alone, Kiyo! How dare you! Leave me alone! Brother what happened to your face? I've told you, it's an accident. So stop asking me nonsense questions. Accidents? You know I am the wrong person to lie to about this. So start talking! What does that mean? Because Perpetua is my friend. Eventually, she will open up and tell me what transpired between both of you. That guy is very hard. Eh? He's very hard. Why would Perpetua be going out with such a person? He's just a bully. What guy? I thought you know something. Anyway, I warned you. I told you this is not the right time to be chasing after women. Let alone fighting because of them. See, I'm not ready for your sermon now. Please, let me be. Please. It's nobody's fault. It's entirely your fault. Had it been you listening to me, this wouldn't have happened to you. So why are you blaming me? I thought you would say something better than stupid. Oh, this is entirely your fault. Why did you listen to me? This wouldn't have happened to you. Now you're blaming me. Oh, your majesty. If this is what it takes to see the princess so happy. I mean, I'm ready to do just anything. Your majesty. Did you see how the whole palace became so lively and warm just because the princess is happy? Oh, <laughs> I mean, I think we should do more of that. Yes. The princess is naturally a happy girl. She is. It's just that, um, you know, um, I'm sure she misses her mother and the way things used to be. But it's okay. If only she could see me as her mother. I'm ready to do anything, anything to make her happy. Tell me, Your Majesty, how was her mother? I mean, I, I, I could bring those times back, you know? Yes. I mean, I could really, really my try. Queen, my Queen, my Queen, it's okay. It's all right, Your Majesty. Hmm? Just continue to be yourself. I mean, you don't have to worry your head trying to be like her mother, the late queen. It's okay. By the way, I understand that um, Ono was here. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Um, in fact, Iche Lekua and Ngukaku mm -hmm. were all here. D did, you, did you forget you had a meeting with them? right I did but it's okay it's okay it's not an emergency oh mm -hmm. they looked very angry yes your majesty <laughs> but they can't be angry with me <laughs> your majesty even if they were I mean what you did today with the princess is worth it yes <laughs>
You want to take me? Where are you? You want to take me to club? Okay. Do you want to take me to club? Where are you coming from? You're drunk. Huh? What is wrong? Am I smiling? Drink, drink. Are you, is this the kind of life you're not living? Are you taking me to club? Take me to club, take me to club. Huh? <laughs> this is how we do it. This is how we do it over there. Oh my god, take me to club, please. Take me to club. So right now, club is your problem. I want to go to club. Just take me to club. I want to dance. This is how we do it over here. See, oh man, you, 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 oh, man. Wait, you live your life the, the way you want to live quiet. your life. Keep man. quiet and making noise. Sorry. What? Could this be the reason you subjected yourself to low level life? Come on. My friends, you will never understand. You see, my parents have made life miserable for me since I returned. I'm going out there to take a drink. That is the only way to cheer myself up. And what help has it given you? Tell me. Instead of you to use the little money you have left to take care of yourself, all you do is go there and drink alcohol. I, I will continue pushing. Whenever life pushes me to, I will pick up from there. You see? You see why education is very important? If you have continued your education, all this wouldn't have been happening. Instead, you chose business. That was in the past, my prince. That was in the past. My concern right now is how to push harder. Push harder. That is my concern. You stop that. You keep talking about pushing harder. Huh? You keep talking about this pushing. You, you, you have to remove this mentality from your head and start a life instead of pushing. They are the same. They are all the same, my friends. They are all the same. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, honestly, I'm not happy about this. But I will see what I can do when I get back to France. I can't leave it like this. Not after how we used to be back in the days. <laughs> Prince. Prince of Abalan. The Omeka Naya. The third. <laughs> Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. See, let me tell you. Anywhere life comes, anywhere help comes from, from you, from anybody, I will keep on pushing harder, pushing harder, pushing harder. <laughs> my friends. My friends. <laughs> oh, yes, I understand that. You see, I. I made him that offer. Yes, he's my childhood friend. But the main reason I promise is because of honor. You acted wisely, my son. Thank you, Dad. You see, <clears throat> the honor is one of our strongest anchors in this community. You remember the time I told you that the people agitated seriously for the rotational system of kinship? I guess that. Did I remember? Mm. They would have succeeded. But the owner who was on our side. Um, yes. Some of our elders supported us. But majorly, it was the Ono who shot them up and out. Mm. Oh, I, I remember you told me that before that. So you see, my son, we have to do everything to keep the Ono on our side, no matter the cost. I understand. I have it in mind.
You are indeed the true son of your father. And I'll always be the true son of a wise and a great father. <laughs> oh, of course I know you're happy and I want to see this that for you. You know, my holiday is over already. Oh no! Yes. <laughs> it is. Oh, I want you to do me a favor. Okay. What? Please remain happy. You know, things will never remain the way they used to be when mother was here. And please do not expect too much from father. Okay? So that's not the point. The point is that I will miss you. I hate that you have to go. Do you have to go? Yes, I have. No, you don't have to. You're a medical doctor now. You can stay back. I mean, stay in Nigeria. Get a job here. Oh, Please. I would have loved to stay because of you. Yeah, but you then know do that. the political instability in this country is disturbing and is affecting everything. I prefer staying in France. Yes. And for how long will you live in France? You're going to be king over here someday. Yeah. I know, I know. When that time comes, we can strategize. You need to spend time here getting to know these things and how it works. <laughs> Little sis, don't worry. We will cross the bridge when that time comes. Don't forget, I, I was raised in this kingdom. Mm -hmm. Oh, I give up. There's no comment. <laughs> I miss you so badly. Oh, I miss you one. Come here, come here, come here. Let me see. Let me see. Don't worry, I'll call you. Yeah, that's what you always say. When I look at your faces and it is beaming with smiles and laughter, I rejoice. There is no king like you. Even if you go to the east or west, North or South, uh, your type can never be found. <laughs> uh, Uyezi, it is said that when a good king rules, put smiles on the faces of his people, uh, they rejoice. <laughs> Uyezi, you are our choice. You will reign forever. He said... We shall forever stand on our promises to you, Uyezi. You shall reign forever. He said... <laughs> Um, um, Indiche. That is why we must continue to work as one united body. Your Majesty, you have our wealth on that. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you see, when we were negotiating this deal with the TTC company that we all are reaping from now. <laughs> Some families in our kingdom started to talk about health hazard nonsense which the old school teacher was champion. But we knocked them off. <laughs> we knocked them off. <laughs> did you? We did. We did. But the same families used it as an urge to raise dust about the rotational kingship issue. Which stupid families are they? <laughs> oh no. Yes. The families of Okereke and Oliseke from Enu Abo Mimi kindred were the major families, but supported by so many others. They, they, they brought this uh, petition before the king. That is serious. What gave them the gods? Who oh, is it? You, you never told us. Of course. I never did, yes. 
That was because I wanted to seal the deal with the TTC company. DJ. They are still coming. They are still pushing. And we must find a permanent way to permanently shut them up. Why are you sounding as if you are bothered? <laughs> it is nothing. This is not the first time such such nonsense issue will be raised. Onyeze, we have fought battles worse than this. This is nothing. It is nothing. I believe it is nothing. They can never succeed. I just see them as toothless dogs. Eh? They can only bark. They can't bite. They can't. I already told His Majesty that this council can be trusted. I'm glad that you are saying things for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Those families will fizzle out with their requests. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I know. Nietzsche. Thank you. I know that you have me covered. I know. Sincerely, I do. I know. But you see, it is good and it is also human to hear it from every one of you here. <laughs> <laughs> to be sure. Are when you decide to go arrest? The song will take over. And it will continue forever. Kingship has come to stay in Nomi Kanaya's family. Nothing will change that. <laughs> uh, uh, before I forget, I have um, a small package. Mm -mm. For everyone here. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, is that another package or the one from TTC? Ah, oh no, who? Oh no, who you underestimate me? Eh? What I have for each of you is nothing compared to what you are thinking. Immediately. God! I am disappointed in you. How could you be bothered over nothing? Eh? We all are smiling to the banks because uh, we have a king who understands kingdom politics. Were you expecting the kind of money you give to us? My friend, you should be happy. I am concerned, Che. And I am worried as well that the gods might rise one day and fight for the people with the way things are going. That is nonsense. Nonsense. Are you the only one who does not know that the gods have washed their hands completely away from the politics of Umapala? After the death of Ezebube the first, mm -hmm. the kingship was to retreat to another family. Mm -hmm. But this was blocked. Mm -hmm. And the king emerged as Ezebube the second. Mm -hmm. We all know how the chief priest washed his hands off the process. Uh, he washed his hands off the process, but the king eventually became king and nothing happened. That is to tell you that the gods and ancestors are completely happy with what is happening. That might be true. But you should also remember what the chief priest said. 
that a son shall rise and fight for the people. And he shall be remembered as royal terminator. Oh, eh? well, when you talk at times, I, I wonder if truly you are any elder. Eh? Which other son will rise up apart from the ones that have been rising and falling? Eh? By the way, what, 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 what do you mean by royal terminator? What are they terminating? I don't know why you are not getting this. There is nothing to get. Absolutely nothing to get. Ambitious children of whom will always rise up against Onyeze and they will continue to fall because he has us behind him. He has people who matter in the society, in this our community behind him. And for as long as he continues to take care of us, eh, I, I, we will always support him. I shall be loyal to him. But do you intend to go against the king? I have not seen this princess one on one. But judging from the way you've described her, it seems to me she's a braggart. Braggart is just understatement. She's a tyrant like her father. Could you believe she has four maidens of this kingdom following her around everywhere she goes? Those girls, some of them graduates, are being paid outrageous salaries from the kingdom's revenue. Ideally, should be under the control of my family. But her father hijacked everything. Now they are royalty. And we, the ordinary people. My dear, you're right. The elders in council are to be blamed. Had it been the stood on the path of justice, the father wouldn't have succeeded in, in making himself the king after his father. You're right. You're right. I blame the elders equally. But you see that princess that parades herself as if the world is under her feet is my biggest disgust. I love I'm concerned about the succession agreement of 1980. I need to study that document some more. Baby, you do not need to study any further. The document is very explicit. Kingship was meant to leave their family after Izebube the first. But he refused to surrender it. Now he's Izebube the second. And that makes me sick. I just, I just hate everything about them. I hate to feel like this. If they force the beast in me to break loose. And they control it. The prince is gone. But you have me here. Don't make me jealous. Paula. I just miss him. I understand. You're expecting someone? No. Why are you stopping me? What are you doing here? Let me go. What are you doing here, Patricia? You're no longer welcome in this house anymore. I tried to, but I could not. Chima, my love, remember we had something good going on until I got involved with the law and you just abandoned me in that prison. And, and that should tell you I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. Again. Do you understand? Patricia, you have to leave now. Please. Patty, baby. Call me that because that is how it used to be. What is going on here? Um, baby, see, 
have this under control, okay? I just wanted to go back inside the room and relax. <laughs> and who do we have here? Patricia, if you don't leave here now, I'll be forced to take you out of this place. Do you understand me? French, what nonsense is going on here, I ask? Call him Chima. That friend seems to be changing the way he behaves. Hey, 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 Patty, Patty, let me tell you something. You have to leave here now. Or I'll deal with you now. Do you understand? Leave here now. Chima. Chima, my love. What? Are you keeping me outside because you have this inside? You didn't tell me you were messing around with a self acclaimed queen. What is it with the us with? Patricia, for your information, she's the princess of Umokbalandi. That does not make her better than me. I refuse to be intimidated. Come on, Chima. It's me, oh. Patsy, they... I told you it's over between us. The moment you got yourself into that mess. Friend, you said that to me. You know I am innocent. I got in the note for what I did and you know it. Is this how you want to pay me for all we've shared? I'm done with you, Patricia. I've warned you to stay away from me. I will not have you come here to destroy what I've built with the princess over the years. Do you understand? I am done! You lie, Chima. Chima, you lie! There's no one while other thing that just left to snatch you from me. I am back. We must continue from where we stopped. your royal tears. A noble princess must not be caught crying for a lame man. He's no lame man. I love him. He's the only man that I found love with. He's the only one that, that ever truly loved me since my mother died. How could he treat me this way? You know, from all you have just narrated, this man has nothing to do with this girl. Uh, maybe before now, but no anymore. I'm hurt by the things she said. I'm even mostly hurt that he didn't tell me anything about her at all. Hi, Princess. I'm certain he was only trying to protect you. Mr. French, the same Chimobi that I know, it's a noble man. And I'm sure he will have some explanation to what happened today. The princess of our land must not be seen crying for a man. Please, stop crying. Sad princess, looking for happiness, looking for love. Sad princess, so much sadness in her world. Sad princess. Patricia, do 
do you want to kill yourself over Mr. French? Someone that is busy enjoying himself with another woman. You've been like this all day. He betrayed me, Hugo. Shinobi betrayed me because I went to prison. Even when he knows I was innocent. The point is that you went to the prison, my dear. And most people would not want to have anything to do with an ex-convict. Whether you're innocent or not, the earlier you realize that, the better for you. I have lost everything. My family disowned me. I was thinking I could console myself with Chima. Then that useless princess comes from nowhere. You were in there for years, my dear. You didn't expect him to keep on waiting for you. He has moved on with his life. And I expect you to do the same. How? Oh. You tell me, how do I move on? He is my life. I live for him. This time I wanted giving up in there. It was his thoughts that kept me moving. Don't worry, my dear friend. You will find someone who will love you. You just have to accept the fact that your chimobi has been taken and moved on. Have you ever been in love? Because if you have, you won't be talking like this. Uncle, you know how I started with Chima. Or maybe you have forgotten. I understand, baby. But you know, I don't like it when you stay out late. Baby, I'm with you. It doesn't matter when I leave. You know, your mother won't be happy if you stay out late. Hmm? Mm. You have to think about it. Chima. I know you did. It's okay. Let be going. Just I'm already missing you. No time seems to be enough when I'm with you. I know, but we have to be cautious. Okay? At least I'm here for the next one week. Okay, let me be going since you're chasing me out of your No, house. that is not what I mean. I'm only doing this because I care and I love you. I am not comfortable with this attitude you're putting up. What attitude are you talking about? Come on, Patricia. Don't ask her that dumb question. As if you can't hear what she's saying. Please, if you're not ready for this deal, you better back off in time. See, girls, there's no time for this right now. Let me see my guy. When I'm back, we'll try this out later, okay? I have a boyfriend now. Why won't you showcase your own? Rubbish. I don't like this and you know it. But I just said I'm sorry. I've How warned you to stay away from those girls, but you wouldn't listen. But they are my friends. They're your friends. Of all the responsible girls in this town, these are the ones who chose to be your friends. Yeah? There's nothing wrong with those girls. I don't know why people like talking about them. Okay. No problem. I'm done talking about this. Okay? But when they will put you into trouble, you know why people are talking about them. Okay? I have stayed here enough waiting for you. So let's go. What? Why are you leaving me here all alone? You know I can hardly go a day without you and now you're leaving to stay away for such a long time. But you know I have to go. You know how much we needed this. Eh? We can't continue eating from hand to mouth. Eh? As a graduate, you need, you need, you need, I need this. Or are you happy the way we, we, do, the way we feed from hand to mouth? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. eh, so I have to go. Hmm? Eh, when I get the contract, then I'll come back for you. 
okay? You're just saying that to console me. I know when you get to that Lagos now, you will not come back. Uh, uh, Lagos is my village. Eh? When I get there, I come back. The only thing that will make me not to come back is if the contract changes. You understand? But I will try to come back. It won't happen. Okay? See? I want you to take care of yourself for me. Okay? Be a good girl. And most importantly, stay away from those ruffians. Those bad girls. Do you understand? No worry, when I come, I believe the situation will change. Okay? That was the last time I saw him. Until he returned and came to the prison to see me. I'm sorry, Jimobi. I know you warned me about them, but believe me. I did not commit a crime with them. I was only found with them the day they were arrested. I must tell you the truth. Everything you're saying here is irrelevant. I can never change anything. I was talking to you about those criminals, about those girls. But you thought I was just talking. Now see yourself. I am innocent, Jiva. You know I would not have done that. Have you been able to convince the long hand of the law that you're innocent? And as a matter of fact, the fact still remains. Since you can hang out with those criminals, even put me in a doubt to know what you cannot do and what you can do. How can you say that to me, Chimobi? Everyone has condemned me, but you should not. Anyway, my dear, I am not condemning you. But put it in your heart and know it. The kind of, I mean, the extent of dent you've put on yourself. Believe me, once you're out of here, you will always be known as. I mean, you know the rest. Anyway, I came back and I heard you. I heard what happened, so I decided to come and see you. I have started work in our town and. So far, so good. God has been blessing me. And I wish you the same. What is that supposed to mean, Chibobi? Is, is that a good bye? All I have to tell you is that you acted stupidly and carelessly. Hmm? I believe when you're out of this place, you become better. He never came back, no asked of me, but I kept him in my heart. He shouldn't have done that. You see, he had loved you, you wouldn't have left you no matter what. He simply tagged you along and you fell in love with him. He loved me. He was just disappointed in me and was ashamed that I was involved in a criminal case. Now you see how strong his love for you was. The princess is the only reason why he's keeping away from me. The other time I went to see him, he kissed me. He responded to my kiss. You have to take it easy on yourself. Sometimes we don't get what we want or need. That does not mean that you have to kill yourself. Mr. French, as is now prefers to be called, does not want you. So you have to forget about him and move on. If I cannot have my chin will be back, then I swear the princess will be. Patricia, you've had enough trouble in the past years. So please, you have to be careful. Chin will be. Now calls himself Mr. French and everything changed. I must have you back or else I will ground you to a halt. Open this gate and let me in. I need to come in now and see, and see the princess. The princess didn't tell me that someone like you come to see me. No, you don't understand. It's very urgent. I need to see her now. You cannot go inside. Open the, open the, open this gate. You have to open this you gate now. You cannot go inside. The princess didn't order me to let you in. Can't you, you understand what I'm, what I'm saying? I say you cannot yeah? go inside. I need to see the princess now. Open this gate. Just open this gate. I'm coming to you. Like you're moving. Open this gate. What 
is happening there? It's very urgent. I have to see the princess now. You will. What is going on? He's there to see the princess. And I told you he cannot. Did the princess tell you that she does not want to see him? No, Your Majesty. Then let him in at once. Yes, Your Majesty. Skate. Long live Your Majesty. A visitor. That's great news. You know, I I hope he's um, a noble man. That was why I let him in. You see, lately I don't seem to know who my daughter is hanging out with. Your Majesty, it's okay. Let's go. Everything will be fine. Did you barge in like that? I'm sorry, my princess. Mr. French is here. He's what? He's yes. here? Yes, I hope he hasn't been let into the palace yet. He has been let in by the king. He's waiting at the royal lodge as we speak. Come here. Come, come, come. Kongos, see this? He's a direct order. I don't want to see him. And I don't want you, you or anybody asking me why. The people that let him in can entertain him and dismiss him when they are done. Go on. I don't want to see him. You know, I did not know that um, Ichie Uguna has a full grown son like you. Hmm? You see, your father was a very respectable man. Thank you, Nyeze. Thank you. You're welcome, my son. Thank you. We've sent for the princess. She'll be with you soon. Thank you, Your Majesty. And so you have to excuse us, okay? okay. Yes. The maids will attend to you. Yes. So, mm? okay. Shut up. Don't take my leniency for granted and begin now to tell me what to do and what not to do. Oye. Sorry, my princess. I want to be left alone. You can go. 
I've been here for long. Please go tell her I'm waiting. She knows you're here. I'm sorry, but she won't see you. Okay, it's good that she knows I'm here. But please tell her I'm not going to leave without seeing her. You know how the princess is. I think you should go and come back when she feels better. Please. Okay, I'll go. But please do me a favor. What? We decided to come privately to inform you that uh, Ichi Ezibaliki can no longer be trusted. Ichi Ezibaliki? What does he want? From what he said, I can sense that he is secretly wishing that the so-called son that will rise and fight for the people should actually rise. The one referred to as a royal terminator. This is sad. Very sad. After all I have done for him. Onyeze, we have to solve this once and for all. As the owner of this kingdom, what appropriate punishment do you think should be given to him for this betrayal? Nothing else than to ostracize him from the council. By what he has done, he has proven that he's no longer worthy to be one of us. I totally support that. He has to leave. Onyeze, we have to ostracize him. Let him go. Avadio, I know he is lukewarm. I know. And I also know that he is not as passionately loyal as both of you. But give me time. I will think about what you have suggested. Only as a piece. Do. However, he that proves himself Loyal will be rewarded handsomely. Hmm? You both will be rewarded handsomely for this show of loyalty. The king that we always reign. <laughs> Oyezi, we shall forever remain loyal to you. I know. Please give me a moment. I'll be back. Think about it, my lord. I don't think ostracizing him is the right option. I am still trying to understand why you think like this. Come on. Explain to me. Uh, well, Your Majesty, you see, the people of Umu Palanri have not succeeded in getting you to endorse the rotational arrangement. And, I mean, that is so because the Elvis in Council are solidly behind you. 
and now that one of them is singing a different song? Caution, my king. Have you thought of what it would be like to lose this strong, loyal elder to the opposition? One cannot be greater than four. And you cannot afford to lose even half of your forces. This is one of the secrets of strong warriors. Your Majesty. My father was a fighter. And he made it very clear to me that even the weakest of them was very vital for total victory. You're a woman of wisdom. Why did I not think like this all this while? Why? 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 Well, because I needed to make my impact, my impact felt as a queen. And remember, Your Majesty, I'm not just a queen by name. I'm a queen by my actions. And I'm here to support you. Whoever said that to you is trying to bring my good name down. Ichi, relax. Hmm? There is no need for all that you're saying now. There's no need. Did I tell you that I am angry with you? Did I? No. I called you here as a friend. Not even as one of my cabinet members. Are we not here alone together? Onyeze, I am stunned hearing about these baseless allegations. You know I can never think of bringing you down. But I know. I miss you. The only thing I can remember doing is expressing my concerns over the petitions Okereke and Oliseike family brought to Ichelekuwa. Uh, Onyeze, wait, or was it the one that brought such lies to you about me? Ichie, relax. It is not important who said what or who said what not. What is important to me now is that you are with me. Eh? And that you would remain faithful to me. Onyeze, I will forever remain faithful to you. Trust me. Ichi. <laughs> hey. Odogu, please accept this. It's just a check of 500,000 naira. Onyeze, You can actually cash it on Monday. Yes. You see, I called and you answered. I have to appreciate it. You shall live long. <laughs> you have constantly distinguished yourself as my friend. And I hope nothing comes between us. Ah! 
Ah, ah, it is <laughs> This one you are full of smiles. What happened? The king has put a smile on my face this weekend. So I am off to plan a great weekend between myself and my family. <laughs> ah. Was the king not supposed to have told him that he is no longer part of the council? What is the meaning of what he just said? That the king has put a smile on his face? Well, even if the king decides to keep him, I have already gotten something out of my loyalty to him. That was my original plan, and not to have him go. Son, your father was my very good friend. While he lived, he never bothered himself with the politics of Umopalan. And in all fairness, Iche, was that right? My father never bothered to know what happened around him, like he rightly said. At least a man should know what happens around him, and that, I believe, contributed to his earlier death. I always thought your coming back was because of crisis in the north. Or do you mean there is more to this? You never can tell what a man thinks. The heart is deep. Isn't it right a man knows about his kingdom very well? You are speaking the truth, my son. But what and what do you wish to know? Everything. You know, I've left for too long now. And now that I'm back, I need to know all that I've missed. All the kingdoms around us have adopted the succession pattern, which is the rotational arrangement. I don't know why you elders in council are still following Ezebube. I see the throne belongs to himself and his family alone. Let Ezebube the first. That is the present Onyeze's late father. Yes. Was a very crafty and ambitious man. He signed the succession agreement of 1980, which ended royalty in their family. Okay. It was to rotate after him. His son was not supposed to emerge as king. So why then is he still sitting on the throne as if he inherited it from his father. Do you know how much this kingdom makes on a daily basis? <laughs> you are just back in the land and you have started asking questions. Anyway, keep asking questions. Uh, but there is one thing I want you to know. That there is something we are hiding in this kingdom. And that is because money is made to rotate. This is getting me so confused right now. Money is meant to rotate. Uh, I don't get it. From where to where is this money rotating for two? The people have fought. They have pleaded. They have done everything they could do. But the answer you already know. Is it will be. We'll never let go of the throne. Major reason being that the elders in council who are equally the kingmakers are sturdily behind him. Umo Palanri is a land blessed with enough resources and there is perfect revenue structure in place. The king sits on money and he is making the money to go round. I don't you think you rob yourself of your future glory? Why trade your future glory for little favor? I don't get why it crumbs when you know you can have the full loaves yourself. I am happy you have started asking questions. 
continue in that line. Sooner or later, things shall become clearer to you. I am sorry. Please, at least hear me out first. What is the meaning of this nonsense? My love, see, I was in your house, but you wouldn't come downstairs to see me. I called. You wouldn't take my call. And if you chose to be smart, you would have done the math and figured out that I don't want to see you or talk to you. My love, at least hear what I am going to say first. Please. Timobi, move out of my way. You are embarrassing the princess and her entourage. Leave now. If you don't move, I will be forced to do something you won't like at the end of the day. My love, just go ahead and do whatever you want to do. What is important to me now is for you to know how much I love you. That I cannot do anything to hurt you. If you want to set my car, please, go ahead and do it. Please, hear me out first. I am sorry. I am sorry. You are embarrassing the princess and her entourage. Leave. Please. My love. Girl, you see me out, please. Let's go. Okay. I am sorry. Baby. Baby, please hear me out. Please. Dear my princess, when a man loves a woman, he can do anything to have her attention. Please, just take me home. My princess, home? You're not going to renew your passport at the immigration office any longer. My day is ruined. I just want to go home. I mean, can I even go a day without one person ruining it for me? Earlier today was that loud-mouthed woman, and now this. The queen? She is not the queen. She's just my father's wife. Only my mother is the queen. I'm what? sorry, my princess. Help me. My princess, listen. 
From all you've told me, I don't think he's done anything wrong. Listen, he came all the way here just to see you. Well, he didn't tell me he was seeing someone else. Did he tell you that you were his first? Well, he could have at least said something. <laughs> My princess, it always does not work that way. He loves you. Why don't you just give him a listening ear? My princess. I love him too, but... Oh, look at that. So why do you go punishing yourself? The king said he comes from a noble family. And such men are not easy to come by, I tell you. Yes. I think that you should Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on. Why are you going on and on canvassing for him like you have been bribed to speak to me on his behalf? <laughs> Far from it, my princess, dear. My darling, I'm only concerned about the princess's happiness. I think you should give him a listening ear. Well, that's, that's, uh, that's quite touching. I'm touched by your affection and your love. <laughs> Thank you. Come. I'm only doing my duty. And thanks for appreciating that. Thank you. I'm doing this because of God. And I know you're in love. I know what love is. Just be there like I said. In the next one hour, she'll be there. Welcome to Golden Land. How may I be a offer? My name is Helen, Princess Helen to be precise. I have a meeting here with Chief Ferdinand. Is he around now? The Andy and the entire team are in meeting room A. This way. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What is the meaning of this? Why are you treating me this way? You know how much I love you. Why? You know I can't stay a day without you. Why are you punishing me this way? For nothing. For nothing? Did you just say for nothing? A woman claimed to be your woman in my presence and you tell me that it's for nothing. She's nobody to worry about. She's in my past now. We are over now. Why can't you hear me out? Of all places, why are you here? I tried to see you in private, but you wouldn't give me the space. Princess, I am sorry. Please, forgive me, I'm sorry. I can't do anything to hurt you. There's nothing to hear from her. She must not see that man again. And I'm asking you why? You're asking me why? Because that man is not good for her. Brother, I will always be here to remind you that Bond is a nice man. Will you shut up that hold on your face? And have you made that time 
to find out more about this man. Why should I, Uncle Ethan? When I have more important things to do, rather than even thinking of asking her. Since your sister is clearly in love with this man, why don't you make her time to know more about him instead of fighting him? Oh, that is the reason why I have called for this meeting. I want you to bear me witness because if she doesn't stop seeing him, I will murder him. I want you to bear me witness. So please talk to her to stop seeing him. Duncan, are you listening to yourself? You will murder a man because he's in love with your sister. That love will never stand. Do you hear me? My sister will marry a responsible one that has a visible means of livelihood. I'm not the one that says land to survive. Hey, you have heard your brother. What do you have to say about this? Thank you, Uncle. Thank you. Brother, I have just two things to say to you. One, Bond is not what he looks like. You may have to take uncle's advice and get to know him better because I will not stop seeing him. Two, you may reconsider your plan to murder him because <laughs> you might end up being the murdered one. Did you hear what this girl just said? Did you hear what this girl just said? I, the mighty Duncan of Umar Panari, that has been her father, mother and father for all these years. Uncle Ethan, did you hear the disrespect? Duncan, she is no longer a child. She is no longer the child you clothed and bathed all those years. She is now grown up. Instead of forcing your will on her, why don't you advise her? Come on, Uncle Nathan, you're not helping issues at all. You're not. I regret involving you into this matter. Duncan and his overprotectiveness. I knew this day would come. I knew it would come. But Duncan, can't you go out of the wine? Will you marry your sister? Ah! Come on, Uncle Nathan. That is how it happened, my princess. The last time I went to visit her in the prison, I made it clear to her that we are over. Wow. This is something. So, wait a minute. You mean to tell me that girl is an ex-convict? In the world, did you even get yourself involved with that type of person in the first place? My princess, see, that girl is not bad. It was her friends. Her friends got her into that mess. And I warned her to stay away from those friends, or she wouldn't listen to me. I want you to be very honest with me right now. Frank. Yeah. Do you still love that girl? Yeah. I mean, if I wasn't in the picture, would you accept her back? The answer is no. But I wouldn't say I hate her. Certainly. I didn't want to have anything to do with that again. And this drama. And this whole nonsense that's going on. I'm not one to fight over my man with another woman. I am royalty. Need I remind you? I've ended it, my princess. Believe me, I have. But she won't give up. I believe that very soon she will understand 
that she is fighting a lost battle. Chimobi! Chimobi, come out here and let's end this madness right now! Chimobi! 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 What is it? It's you again. Hi. Hmm. The baby girl is here. Come, Timubi. Do you even do any other thing other than staying with this thing? Do you still work? I heard you've been going about with her. You, Mr. French. Bleeding with a woman. <laughs> the Chimobi I know will tell a woman to go to hell. So what's up with you? Well, the Chimobi you knew now prefers to be addressed as Mr. French. And it will be good for your senses if you grow up to that. I'll have you know that this man over here adores this princess not you as convict i see he's been telling you things about me he told you i was in prison right the lord knows i will send you back to jail if you don't stay away from everything that concerns me don't you think a princess like you should be able to get a seven man Instead of trying to snatch another woman's man. Patricia, right. I've warned you to mind. No, no. No. Calm down, I got this. Sweetheart, I'm a princess. And I can get myself any man that I want. Check this out. Because I am also a princess, I can do anything, whatever it takes to ensure that you stop harassing my love life. Mm -hmm. As convict? If it means drawing my own blood, I will never leave my chimu before any other woman. Not even you, baby of a princess. Girls? My princess. Get this nuisance out of my face. Those things. Get me out of here. <laughs> I am not done with you. I told you you will forever be mine and I meant it. You cannot just break up with me and go tell that baby of a princess that by the time I am done with her, this community will hear about us. I told you I wanted to be alone. I'm sorry, my princess. But I, I just feel it's necessary I talk to you about this. About what? About what happened at Mr. French's house. About that girl that came to see him. The same girl. Sit down. What about her? I understand she's a very bad girl and she moves around with notorious people in the community. I suggest you tell the king about her. So he will either have her wound, punished or 
better still give you some security. What? I mean, at this point, I don't think moving with us alone is safe. Why? Are you scared? It's not that I'm scared. I, I just I want you protected. Mm -hmm. That girl is not normal. She's she's a bad girl. She doesn't respect royalty at all. She can do anything. No, she can't do shit. Besides, there is no freaking way I am going to bother my father, the king, with relationship issues. I mean, surely the king has a lot more important thing to handle, don't you think? Um, I'm not saying you should bother him with relationship issues. It's just, you know, just ask for additional security. I won't. And I'll be fine. You need to stop worrying now. Can I have a moment alone for myself? Sad princess. So much sadness in her world. Princess Helen speaking. I have something of utmost importance to discuss with you. Are you ready to hear me now or should I call you with the details later? She completely turned down the suggestion. That's one thing with the princess. She's just too stubborn and sometimes totally unreasonable. She don't speak about the princess in that manner. But she speaks the truth. Even so, you don't have to talk about her like that. My concern is her safety. That's it. And ours too. I mean, we move around with her and anything that happens to her will certainly affect us. Exactly. Well, let's just pray that nothing happens to her, okay? Not me. What that man gets said. She looks like she's capable of anything. I'm scared. And to think that all this is happening because of a man? <laughs> what has the princess seen in that French of a guy, by the way? Neka, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Actually, Chibobi is a nice guy. That is why I had to help him when the princess refused to see him. Hmm? <laughs> How? I was the one that informed him about our movements. What? You did? That's betrayal. I was only trying to help because I know the princess <sighs> loves him too. I was trying to help. I just said for me. I've been trying to call you. That animal. That baby of a princess did this to me. Princess Ellen? How? 
If it isn't our ex convict, hi. Bobby girl, you're behind this, right? No, darling. You see, I am a princess and I would not have a bloody ex convict address me in that tone. Guys, please show her that you're my friend. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. Oh, look at you. You know, I can kill you right here, and nobody will even know a thing. You're taking a long too far. You're taking a long too far. <sighs> ah, this is fun. I mean, we're having a party over here. So allow me to worry about my luck. Guys, <laughs> let's have more. She called me a friend and then she asked the eat man to do this to me. It's not true. She couldn't have. She's too honorable to do this. I was there all day trying to free myself. You can't be serious. You should have called for help. Call for which help? Do you know who the helper would be? You could be a rapist, my dear. Well, leave that in. I just had to help myself. But Patricia, this is why I've been telling you to forget about Mr. French, but you wouldn't listen. Now you see what you've got yourself into. Go, please. Keep French out of this. I can swear on my life that he has nothing to do with this. That useless princess did this on her own. Even if she did, it's because of him. Leave them alone and start your life afresh. You can't contest with the princess because you will always lose. I am not true with them. I do not care whether she's royalty or not. But she must pay for doing this to me. For taking my man and doing this to me. I will show her what a nice convict can do. Just stop boasting. Let's see what we can do with the bruises. Baby girl has drawn the first blow. She called me a friend. Now I see her as an enemy. God help me. It's okay, sorry. Give yourself time. Get down! 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 No, Daddy, I wouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. But you don't have a choice, Princess. You don't. From this moment onwards, I am going to have armed guards around you. 
and you will not move alone anymore. Don't you see? Don't you see what happened today? Daddy, I do not move around alone. I always have my girls with me. Princess, your maids are just harmless, defenseless young girls and they can't protect you. Well, it has been like that for a long time now. And I like it like that. But the hoodlums could have harmed you. But they didn't, Daddy. I'm right here. I'm, I'm fine. The only one out of those hoodlums I came close said that I was the wrong target. I am a princess, Daddy. Who would want to hurt the princess? Besides, Daddy, have you even considered how awkward it would feel that I look over my shoulder every time I walk around my father's kingdom? That is ridiculous, don't you think? Princess, I beg you. Daddy, I beg you. Stop it. Please stop it. You know how I feel about this type of thing. Like, I don't have, I don't like to have male guards or servants around me. That's the reason I ask that all my servants be made women. You approve of it, Daddy. What has changed? Why? Princess, just listen to yourself. Here we are, talking about your safety, and you are saying things way out of this palace. My love, we have enemies. We have enemies who want to get at us, and we will not allow it. We will not. I will be fine. Nothing will happen to me, Daddy. You need to stop worrying. Besides, you know what they say. Is that God watches over the city? In vain do the watchmen watch. Excuse me. Oh, well, your majesty, um, I think she, she, she just made sense for that. Because I mean, we all know that God is the ultimate security. I mean, just take a look at what happened today. He saved her. And I believe that he will continue to save her, and keep her, and preserve her. Your Majesty, please, don't let this ruin your day. The princess will be just fine. Please. What kind of nonsense is this? Huh? How can you get my target and you leave her to go? Huh? How about you, baby? So now, princess, you talk about all this while. Well. Imagine. Huh? Uh huh? What about her? She took my man. And to crown it, she had someone beat me up. All I wanted was to pay her back in her own coin. But you could not do that. But, babe, see, we need to do this thing where you say we could do. Now, princess, where you say we could go beat. What if you do them now? How for you? I should be saying we've lost my princess. You tell me what I can miss on. No fit, you are. No fit. See, honestly, guys, I am disappointed in you. See, but see, make I tell you. You defeat me so. That girl not deserve that kind of treatment. No! You know the fear of Yabi? She not deserve that kind of treatment. You don't hear me so. So now me deserve her. Eh? So I'm the one that deserves to be treated the way she did, eh? Hey. See, that babe disgraced me. I wanted to do a favor by treating her madness secretly. But you just could not do it. See, guys, now don't fuck me up. Bro. You guys have just messed me up big time. I'm not happy. Babe, hear me? Swallow her. Make you bone her. We no fit do her. That task, you know, we no fit at all. We no fit do her. Babe, take this thing. Take her. My princess, take her. Take this thing. Take her. Babe, take her. Take her. Take her. Oh, 
Hello, good morning, my princess. Oh, mm -hmm. good morning. Good morning, my princess. Among all the things I've been permitted to do in this palace, Waking up the princess is not one of them because I know the princess has to sleep and wake up whenever she chooses to. Mm -hmm. But because today is a special day in the life of the princess, I've been given a royal mandate to do special things. Please, my princess, do not forget that you are the jewel of this palace. Oh. And... Oh, yeah, yeah, let me stop you right there, mm -hmm. please. Oof. Yes, it is my birthday. Yes, it's your birthday, my princess. Yes, this is my birthday. Please, and, and so, and so, because it's my birthday, you plan on choking me with those sugary words of yours, right? <laughs> Thank you, babe. You're welcome, my princess. Please allow me give you special treatment today because it's your special birthday and mm -hmm. everyone is waiting for you down. I know, right? Of course they'll be waiting. We have a ritual to get to. And the princess has to have her <sighs> princessy breakfast. So mm -hmm. um, I just take a shower and we'll get right to it. Don't wait. Okay. <laughs> I'll be waiting. All, All right. right. Breakfast in your honor, my Thank princess. Thank you, baby. I mean, it's your 20th. I know, I know. Let me stop you right there. We'll continue when the king and the queen join us. Yes, it's my birthday! <laughs> this is so beautiful. Rose petals, just like I love. Like. You still here? Go on! Oh, yeah, hurry up. Go tell the king and the queen that the birthday girl is sitting right here at the dining table waiting to have her usual birthday breakfast because I can't wait! I'm sorry my princess, the king has gone out. The king has what? The king went out. Mm -hmm. Is she, is she joking? You mean my father left the palace without seeing me or at least wishing me a happy birthday? Well, I'm, I'm certain he'll be back soon. I'm sure. But uh, we're here, right? Yay. We could make it fun. Yes, my princess, at least. Where's the queen? They went out together. This is what you will continue to get. Can you just shut up? Why are you so insensitive? I pity the man that will get married to a hardened maiden like you. And I pity the one that will marry a weakling like you. Please, maintain your lane. Are we not supposed to go after the princess? And we're here trying to pick up a fight. God, my issue. <laughs> Why are you so senseless? Oh, you want to run after her, force her to increase her speed, and possibly crush her to something? <laughs> if you don't have anything to say at times, you better shut up your mouth. Don't insult me! Hey, don't hey, even hey, try! Hey, don't hey, insult! Hey, I will hey, beat hey, you! Hey, you hey, stop hey, this! Hey, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! 
stop this. Both of them have been trying to set up a fight since yesterday. Okay. Ladies, the stage is yours. You can now fight and strip yourself naked. Hey. So the guys could enjoy. If I beat you. If, oh God. If I beat you. Take your time. Take your time. How? that produce joy in the palace. Because of what you represent in our life, your father has arranged for you a month-long holiday. In the Barbados. Daddy, shut up. No! Thank you. Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> oh my days! Yes. <laughs> my jewel, you know you are the center of my world. The source of all my happiness. Oh. You deserve every good thing that life has to offer. And I promise you, cross my heart, mm -hmm. I will spare nothing to make sure that you have it. Oh my God. Happy birthday. Thank you, Daddy. And I know you grow into that woman that will be remembered in history for mature exhibition of decency at all times. Happy birthday, my child. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. Come here, come here, daddy. Please, come here. Explain to him that I let the princess drive herself. That was the same thing I was saying, and this parrot has the guts to challenge me. I don't even know what to do now. If you don't know what to say, then shut up and allow us think. I think we should go in search of her before she returns. Search for her? Yes. At where? Oh. Why are we all claiming as if we don't know where she is right now? Princess Ellie is with Mr. French at his place, enjoying herself. And we are here killing ourselves. Huh? I can bet my three more salary on that. Even if you're 100% sure of that, can we actually go there without her consent? Is there anything going on here? You're supposed to be 
be our leader here, but you're not saying anything. I am trying to think. What else will I do than to keep calling her until she answers? Neka is right. If she's there, which I believe she is, we cannot go there without her approval. Better still, let's send Ife in one year to go and check up on that there. You're mm. very sick. I told you my father doesn't love me anymore. From the moment my mother died, my daddy stopped caring and loving me. My love, I am sorry. I know your burden means a lot to you. But remember, he's the king. Maybe something serious and very important might have come up. Of course. Of course something came up. The queen came up. She always comes up. That's how he goes about the entire place with her. She's all he thinks and cares about. The king loves you. Yes, I am sure of that. He can do anything for you. That he did not come to wish you happy birthday does not dispute that. Well, I need proof of that love. I need to be convinced. I need to be reassured that my father loves me as much as he claims. I need to know how much I'm even worth to my father. Because the way I feel right now, I feel like I don't want a thing to him. What do you want? I don't know, my head is popping at me. I might go crazy if I don't. If I don't know if my daddy really loves me despite all the negligence. So what then is your work in this palace? Huh? I said what is it? What rubbish? Just what rubbish is this? You mean none of you can give an account of the whereabouts of the princess? My king, I'm very sorry. But before we could stop her, she was already out of the palace. And all our attempts to get her on the phone has just been futile. What do you expect me to do then? Okay? You want me to roll out the drums and, and then beat it for you? That's what you want me to do? No, Now listen. Just pray that the princess gets back before nightfall. Else! Get out of my sight. What nonsense is this? Despite all my warning, they still allowed her to go out all by herself. Your Majesty, what? Why would the princess behave that way? And I don't understand it. She has the whole day to celebrate her birthday right here in this palace. I don't understand this useless birthday morning ritual of a thing. Well, she's used to that useless birthday morning rituals, you know. But, come to think of it, what was I even thinking? You know, she must have expected that I should be the first person to see her on her special day. Oh my God. You didn't do it on purpose, my Lord. It wasn't on purpose. But, that which I went out to get, some other person could have done it for me. Your Majesty, please stop blaming yourself for this. Quit blaming yourself. I'm sure we must we'll find a way around this. Please. Oh, 
this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Just hear yourself. Just listen to yourself. I heard myself loud and clear. Chimobi, you have to do this for me, I beg you. You have a satellite phone. The satellite phone that the Russian gave to you, which you told me you have never used, right? Now listen to this. As unbelievable as it may sound is the truth. I think my mother went ahead of us and moved the Russian to give you that phone, knowing that at this time we would need it. The die is cast. It's time to use that phone and you cannot fail me, please. No, I will not do it. Since you've decided to involve yourself in this nonsense, then count me out. What is wrong with you? What is so hard in helping me do this? What is so evil in a daughter wanting to find out just how much her father loves her? I just want to know the value my father placed on me. Please. Your plans are not only foolish and stupid, but criminal as well. Believe me, I am not part of it. The ridiculous suggestion of yours when implemented can land us in jail. If luck runs out on us, so kill that thought! Kill it! See, I am not against you wanting to know if your father still cares and loves you and whatever. But since you're doubting, there are other ways to do it. I mean, what if he eventually finds out? You might end up losing everything. I will handle the outcome. All right, Chimobi, please. You are all I've got. It's just you that can do this for me. My brother is far away. He cannot do anything. The satellite phone you have can only be traced by the Russian that gave it to you. So please, please, my love, kidnap me. And then, call my father and place a price tag on my head. If he pays the ransom, then, and only then, will I be convinced. Are you alone now? Yes, I'm alone now, my princess. Are, are, are you okay? Everyone is worried. Listen carefully to what I have to tell you now. I need you to meet me up at Chimobi's house right away. My princess, are you okay? Ensure you're not being followed. And I need you here in an hour tops. Okay, my princess. I shall be on my way now. I repeat. Make sure you are not being followed. Going on here? The princess! The princess, Your Majesty! Yes, the princess. I was told that you went to bring back the princess. Where is she? Where is the princess? Where is the princess? Where is the princess? Oh, my this is true. I went to bring the princess. I was with her all through the day and on each holiday resort. On our way back! Speak up! Someone loves her!
What are you talking about, hoodlums? There are no hoodlums in this kingdom. This thing treat your highness. They took her away. Took her away? To where? I don't know, my queen. I don't know, my queen. They spin off in their car. Oh. I have to call the police. God! This is very strange. I mean, it has never been heard in the history of our land that someone was attacked in such a way. Talk more of a princess. Hmm. The question is, who are these men and what do they want? Oh, your Majesty. Any news from anywhere? I you need to take this call, please. Okay. Yes. Hello. This is the king. Is it will be the second? We already know that. Spare us the formalities. Who are you? I am someone that has something that belongs to you. And I would love to know how important that which I have is to you. Where are you and what do you want? Daddy, it's me. It's me, the princess, Daddy. Princess? Is that you? Where are you? Where are you? Now let us see how much value you place on her. Look, look, whoever you are, whoever you are, don't you ever raise your fingers on the princess. Don't even bother thinking about it. Sure you are king, but sorry, you are in no position to give us orders right now. What do you want? Simple. In exchange for your daughter, I demand the sum of one 100 million naira. 100 million what? You heard me right. Listen, sir. I am calling with a satellite phone that you cannot trace. I will call you back to get your stand. Do not provoke me with some stupid actions. Or the princess might be at risk of losing her life. Hello? 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 Uh, Onyezi. Who was that? I'm sure it's the same kidnappers that Oinye was talking about. They are demanding a ransom of 100 million naira. Your, Your Highness, now they have implicated themselves with the phone call. Let us report them to the police. They have the technology to trace that call. Let the police arrest them. He said they are using a kind of phone, satellite phone that cannot be traced. I need to find out what that means myself. I forgot to give this word of advice. The police must not know about this. It must be our little secret. Remember that the life of your daughter could be at risk. Don't play with the man that is holding a gun to the head of your daughter. A man in the moon. A man that you cannot find. Why is your face like that? Is it the same kidnapper? He said, 
I must not contact the police. That he will kill the princess as soon as I contact the police. You will not listen to them, Oyeze. We must report to the police no matter what happens. And risk the life of the princess. Eh? Oyeze, I suggest we start negotiating with them now and save the life of our princess. I think that is the most reasonable thing to do. Ichi, do you know how much we are talking about here? And can that be compared to the life of the princess? Onyeze, what are we going to do now? Because delay is dangerous, they say. We need to do something fast. We need to do something fast. Don't go in there and tell the king what you saw. What did you even see? Nothing. Listen, I am Princess Helen's personal maid, okay? I'm the closest to her and her kidnap just worries me. I'm, I'm just worried. I want to know whether the king is making the right decision or not. Oh, really? And what if it's not? What can you do? What can I do? Nothing. But honestly, I am worried. I don't want anything to happen to Princess Helen. Mm. Listen, everyone in this palace shares the same feelings. I suggest you be very, very careful before you land yourself into trouble. Be very, very careful. I've heard you. Advisor. Mr. Advisor, I've heard you. Thank you for your suggestion. father is planning to do? Did he not say anything about saving me? You know your father, he hardly disposes his plans to anyone. Okay, I'll keep you posted, okay? Just be safe, okay? I was expecting that by now he would have paid up and not for him to consider going to the police. It's not easy as you think. It doesn't work that way. Huh? Moreover, I've not told him where and how to pay the money. My point exactly. If indeed he loves me and cares about me, he ought to have rallied around and raised this money and, and, and asked you where do you want the money? When do you want it and how do you want it? And not for him to seriously be thinking of calling the police. You know, for someone whose only daughter's life is in danger, one would think that he would want to hasten up. Calm down. Call him again. Warn him sternly this time. Remind him of the danger that is looming if he doesn't act fast. Father, if Nigerian kidnappers have advanced to calling their victims' families with satellite phones, then we have a big problem in that country. Forget the police because sincerely, they cannot trace that criminal. Yes, I know, son. I know that the police is helpless. But this is a criminal matter and it must be reported to the police and risk the life of the princess? Come on, father, don't tell me that. Her life is more precious than anything. I know, son, I know, I know. But the money they are asking for is too much. Dad, I agree completely, father. But that cannot be compared to what those criminals could do to the princess. Please, father, we need to do as they said. When she is free, then we can tighten up security. Let me know how much you have. I can borrow money from here to make it up, Father. It's all right, I've heard you. You will hear from me shortly. Okay, all right.
He said he would send some money. But how can we just give out that kind of money to criminals? Your Majesty, you have to think of the princess's safety too. I mean, we don't even know what she's going through in the hands of these criminals right now. I have every right to suspect you. I just hope my suspicions are wrong. And I just told you I did not do it. Patricia, I know you. I know what you can do. Come to think of it, you hardly come home these days. It's true I had plans to deal with that baby girl. But believe me when I said I have nothing to do with this. Can't you see she's a very spoiled girl? I am certain what she did to me, she already did to someone else. I just hope that you're as innocent as you claim to be. Allow your girl is innocent. But that doesn't mean I'm forgiving that girl. Oh, go. She just opened my palms and took the man I love. Do you even know Chimobi avoids me lately? What are you saying? No, tell me. Do you still go looking for him? Have I not told you to just forget about him just like that? No, no. Nah. I've been going to check on him secretly. But he has not been seen anywhere close to his house lately. Maybe the kidnap of his woman has scared him away. Go, please. Stop calling her his woman. For he has just one woman. Me. Moreover, the Chimobi I know cannot be scared by anything. Except the Barbie of a princess has also turned him into a male Barbie. Patricia, you have to get yourself another man. Both of you are not in the same level. I am warning you. I can swear to you that I have not, I have not contacted the police. Please, I need you to understand this. I love my daughter more than any amount of money. Please, I, I want you to give me until tomorrow. Tomorrow, a select Trusted elders will bring the money to you at the spot you described. Please do this for me, please. Don't harm my daughter. I beg you. I beg you, please. I know it's late, but I had to come because it's important. Then you should have called me on the phone. Everything mustn't be discussed on the phone. See, I'm just coming back from my friend's house, Ndidi. She told me that the princess will be coming back tomorrow. Are you trying to say that the princess is going to be released by her kidnappers tomorrow? Exactly. And that's the reason I said I must see you tonight. Like I said earlier, everything mustn't be discussed on the phone. Come on. Bond, Bond, this is not the time to get in. Look, Bond, you are the master planner here. I think you should call your guys and fix something before morning. A scene? Yes. So what will I be doing with a scene? It's a new SIM fraudulently acquired for the mission. It's not registered in any name, but it works. <laughs> What's funny? A local girl, I fell in love the way she is. Honestly, I love you the way you are. I beg your pardon? Why are you calling me a local girl? No, 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 sorry. I mean no disrespect. Listen, my love. Kidnappers do not make calls with mere digital phones. They call with satellite phones that cannot be traced. Uh, 
So, so, what are you trying to say? That you're not going to do this for us? My love, my name is Mr. Bond. I will make the necessary calls, but certainly not with this your fraudulently acquired scene. Go home and allow Mr. Bond to bond the deal. This is the place they say we should wait. Well, they say they will call us. Just calm down. They will call us. Let's wait. Yes, hello. This is on We are the place where you instructed. Yes. Are you sure you're with the money? Yes, yes. 100 million naira in cash. Yes. We are with the equivalent in dollars. 500,000 dollars, sir. Nice. Now. Move to the road that turns left ahead of you. You will see the signpost. Drop the money there and return to the car. You will see the princess after my guy picks the money. He is there already waiting for you. In fact, let me break it down. They are looking at you as you make this call. No problem. We are not going to go contrary to your instructions, sir. Please do not harm the princess. Just do as you're told. Dismantle any security arrangements you already have in place to arrest my guy that is coming to pick the money. Once you arrest him, or if he calls to say he is suspecting any trail, I will rape the princess and then I will kill her. Ah, sir, we understand, sir. We understand all your instructions. We understand what's happening. The life of the princess is at stake. Please, we understand. No security arrangement in place, sir. Okay, then. The ball is in your court. What? What is it? Huh? They say we should come down. Come down. Okay. Move on. Move on. Move. Let me take it to them. Don't ruin the process. Yeah. You just wait in the car. Let me take it to them. Hmm? Okay, okay. That's what they say. Thank you. Well, be careful. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll watch your back. I'll watch your back. Thank you.
see how foolish this whole thing is. What is foolish about this? As far as I'm concerned, my mission just got accomplished. So now what next? I am not going to touch that money for you know they are mad. Oh please, baby, that's not the point. The point is that now I am more than certain that my daddy loves me. He loves me so much he can do anything. Look at that! What I told you from the first day that your father loves you. I am not happy you lured me into this. Oh, come on. They are waiting for you inside that car. Uh -huh. What happens to the money? The money is yours. Oh, come on, girl. don't give me that crap. I am not a money bag of my joint. But I don't need that kind of money. Hmm. That's all right. Listen to me. Calm down there. No harm done yet. Okay? If you don't want the money, I'll simply take it back to my daddy. I'll tell him the story. He'll have a good laugh about it. But best believe, I won't mention your name. Hold her to the bag. Let's wait for her to come. She will explain to us. But she has the bag. What is she still doing with the bag? She will let us know. I don't know. They say they don't need the money again. Please take me home to my father. Yes, son. The money has been delivered to them. That is wonderful news, father. What of the princess? Is she home now? No, um, she's not yet here. Have you spoken to her? Is she okay? No, I have not spoken uh, to her yet, but I'm sure they're on their way home. Please let me know when she arrives, Father. Okay, son. I will. Thank you, son. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're indeed a blessing to this family and the entire Omobalanre land. Thank you, Father. I will call you back. Oh, oh, easy. 
it, the princess was as good as being home. All of a sudden, you know, from nowhere, they just swooped on us and then recaptured her. We, we, we don't know. I'm confused. What happened, Ono? You're my Ono, right? What happened? I mean, what did the princess say is the reason why she had the ransom money? Uh, she said that they said they didn't need the money again. That she will explain to you in detail. We should take her home. I'm surprised that they came for her again. So shocked. I'm getting crazy here. I said I'm going nuts. What is happening in my kingdom? What is happening? You are making me mad. I don't understand you. What is happening? No, no, who? Is Jello quiet? What is it? Your Majesty, I wish to suggest something. Let us involve a Susaya in this. Oh no! We arranged the money they wanted. And they released my daughter. How can you suggest a thing like that? The, 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 where is the princess now, if I may ask? Mm -hmm. huh? They allowed her to get close to the palace. And then we captured her again. Hi! The land of Umokpalari has indeed deteriorated. Something is really wrong somewhere. And we have to fix it soon before it gets totally unmanageable. And the process of healing starts with engaging a competent soothsayer to tell us what is happening. Tell me why you're calling me. Sincerely, my lord. What I want to discuss with you is, is very serious and heavy. You cannot just be exhausted in just one sentence. For all time's sake, Chimobi, grant me audience. Give you audience where? Eh? See, Patricia, what I'm trying to tell you now is that for some time now, things have been rough for me. And, uh... and that is because you have been avoiding me. You allowed that intruder to cut the bond we needed. Hey, Patricia, stop this nonsense now. And do me a favor. Please don't call my line again. Do you understand? Okay, sir. But you have to do me a favor too. Allow me to see you at your place today. And we can start setting the record straight. Please. This whole thing is becoming impossible to me. You mean they abandoned the girl and did not touch the money? That is why I am here. They abandoned the girl. They also abandoned five hundred thousand dollars cash that I had in a Ghana must go in the trunk of the car. I don't know what they want again. You see, officer. I am sure they are after my daughter's life. I, I don't understand. Yes. Why is it made it long? It is well with you, my son. Yes. Who is it that greets the king? My identity is of no importance. But my interest to you to know that I have your precious jewel here with me. Who are you? You have my daughter with you. 
I don't understand. I have done all that you asked me to do. And then you seize her again. I don't understand. I don't know what you're talking about. Because I'm yet to tell you my prize. But first, speak to your daughter. Daddy? Dad? Daddy, they're about to kill me. Princess, calm down. My jewel, calm down, calm down. Calm down. I will do whatever to get you out. Please, calm down. You will adhere to my instruction and nobody will be hurt. Become too intelligent and get the police to trace where I am calling from. They will come here and arrest me and my boys will kill the princess immediately after. Listen, King. Your daughter has been transferred to an underground facility. She will remain there until you play ball. The choice is yours. Listen. You are confusing me now. You are confusing me now because I don't know what you want. I, 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 you abandoned my car. You also abandoned the $500,000. I'm sure, I'm certain you saw at the trunk of the car. So, I don't know what you want again. The first kidnap was not a real kidnap. Your daughter merely planned with some people to convince herself that you love her. You pay the ransom and they release her with the money. For the money was never the target. I am a re-kidnapper and I will never touch your marked money. You mean my daughter planned her own kidnap? The first one, yes. But this one, she has no hand in this. And we are determined. You may get Onyinye, her maid, to explain what she knows about the former. This is beyond her. Ponder on these things I said. I will get back to you. I'm so sorry, Your Majesty. I'm so sorry. I could not disobey the princess. And she was worried that you didn't love her like before. I was only trying to help in the little way I could. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Who else is involved in this? <laughs> Speak up immediately. Uh, Mr. French. <laughs> Mr. French, Mr. Helen's friend, he knew about it. He planned everything with that. Young woman, do you realize what you have done? Hi! This is unbelievable. I don't know what to believe anymore. But I think that this is... This is another test. Of my love for the princess. I don't think so, Onyeze. I believe she must have been in great danger. That was why she opened up to the criminals that uh, called you. Huh? You don't have to be involved. I am here absolving you. I will consult a soothsayer to explain this. Oh no. Don't mention my name or the name of any member of this royal household before any seer or soothsayer. Is that understood? Uh, yes. But I will not mention anybody's name again. I know seers that see. They will not allow me to say what even before telling me what the problem is. And I forbid you. I said I forbid you. This is my problem. And I will solve it.
Good afternoon, officers. We are here for one Chimobi, also known as Mr. French. Is anything the matter? Are you the one? Under arrest for the kidnapping. What? Uh, um, yes, the princess is back. Did you have the right to arrest her? Officer, I am innocent. The princess only sought for help and I helped her as a friend. I think there's something well, going wrong here. The girl in question was kidnapped again. And you are to answer for it at the station. Officer! No, officer, see, I am innocent. Tell me what you know and save yourself of what is coming. If you continue to lie to me, I will kill you in custody. And I'm telling you, nothing will happen. Nothing! I've told you everything, I swear. I have no hands in this. I'm telling you the truth. You have no hand in this, but you did in the first, right? Everything happened exactly the way I told you. I was only trying to help her. I didn't mean to kidnap her. It was all her plan. Officer, I'm not into crime. She even told me to take all the money. I said no. If I were to be a kidnapper, why wouldn't I take all the money? Do anything like that. Why would policemen come looking for me? According to them, Mr. French testified that you had a fight with the princess. That you once threatened that she would be kidnapped again. My dear, you are their number one suspect. What kind of wire is this now, eh? What am I going to do? I've been hiding in this bush all day. You must not come back here during the day. I suggest you come at night. Would you even believe me? I did not do it. I am innocent. Of course. I don't even understand why the police is after you. The kidnappers are demanding that Ezebube steps down and allow the implementation of succession agreement of 1980. So, so what's, my, what's my business with affairs of royalty and who emerges as the king? Eh? Uh, hello? Unbelievable! How could they ask for such? Huh? Who are these people to question how we handled the succession agreement of 1980? The same question I have been asking myself since they called. Who are they? Obviously, they are more than just kidnappers. Of course, you are right. 
first normal kidnappers we, we demand monetary ransom but this one just imagine them asking our king to step down and allow the full implementation of the succession agreement of 1980 that can never happen but by the way who are they to mendel in our kingdom politics eh? Someone from Umuakbalangri is behind this. But who? No, no, no. Do not panic. Hmm? Nothing will happen. They are only empty drums. They will only try. They have my daughter. Your Highness, I hope you are not thinking of doing their bidding. Please, it must not happen. Threaten to kill her. Eh, never! They can never do that! They themselves know that they can never do that. They can't! So what do I do? Time! Give them time. They will get tired and release our princess. You cannot think of that, my lord. You can't do that. You, you just cannot give up the throne. Anything. Anything for my daughter. Is there no other way? There's no other way. That is the only thing they want. They don't want anything else. Listen. I have even offered them one million dollars. Your Majesty, I think it's time to make some arrests. Yes. You need to arrest these people that are calling for this rotational rubbish. These culprits live amongst the people. Yes! Do you understand? Do you fully understand what is at stake here? My daughter's life is in the hands of those who can take it at will. And here you are asking me to make arrests Yes, Your Majesty. Arrest these people. If you arrest them, they will tell us where their members are. The princess will be rescued and the throne will be retained. Yes. I've always taken your cancer. But this one, I am sorry. No. I will not heed to it. Listen, my queen. It will only complicate issues. This problem has only one solution. Only one solution. And that is to give up the throne? as a direct implementation of the succession agreements? Rubbish! I will not stand for this. No! I am in support of what she said. Oh no. What are you talking about? What is the throne compared to my daughter's life? 
I thought both of us wanted this stone very badly. Yes. Yes, we did. But not at the expense of my daughter's life. <laughs> we have lost a lot in the process of trying to keep this stone. How could you give it all up without even as little as putting up a fight? What are you fighting? Oh no. What are you fighting? For all I care, the kidnappers might be the entire Omoapalangri. Yes! So what are you fighting? Can't you see it's all over? It's over! This is not you. This is not the Ezebube, the second I used to know. The one that played everybody, even the professors of this land, and sat on the succession agreement for years. Ah, this kingdom and the throne are yours, Toki. Don't let this little temptation shake you. We are all solidly behind you. Sorry, Dad. This is not going to happen. How could you even think of giving up the throne? I have been trying to talk to Onize, but he would not listen to me. Look, son, your only sister's life is in danger, and I don't want anything to happen to her. Dad, I understand. No matter the demands of those criminal, this is a pure case of a kidnap, and the police must be fully involved. That we have a monopoly of instruments of violence, and we can contain all the enemies of the throne. Son, your sister's life is in danger. The throne can go. Let it go. I, I, I don't want it. I don't need it. I'm even sure that the gods have their hand in all this. Forget about the gods. This is a pure case of a kidnap and it should be treated as such. No, 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 that tell me. What do you call the gods? Who are the gods? Is it those red and white clothes tied on the Iroku trees? Is that what you call the gods? That the world has evolved beyond pagan beliefs and practices and we have to evolve with it. Ah! Don't speak like that, Prince. We believe in oh, the gods. You, know? I... you do? Then tell me, if you believe in them, why didn't you listen to the chief priest when they decreed that my dad is not going to attend the throne after the death of my grandfather? So tell me, if they leave, how come they have not done anything to him since he became the king? So, Dad. I am still the king. And I'm still your father. I forbid you. I forbid you not to speak in that direction. I am the king and I know what to do. Dad, this does not only involve you. I am also concerned. I am going to take over after you reign. And that will you just allow all our fight to end in a shameful defeat? Come on, Dad. Come on. So, 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 so what do you want us to do? Just what do you want us to do? My daughter's life is in danger and I don't want anything to happen to her! Fine, uh, Dad. Dad, we are going to involve the police. Nothing is going to happen to my sister. You know we haven't really talked since the kidnap of the princess. What is happening? <laughs> What is your father and the king doing about it? My dear friend, the palace is on fire. According to my father, the king is willing to do the demands of the kidnappers. But the others in council and the queen don't want to hear of that. 
The return of the prince has even made things harder for Onyeze. He has sworn never to let his father succumb to the demands of the kidnappers. I even heard he's working directly with the commission of police. You're not serious. I am. How, how could he be playing politics when an innocent girl is in the hands of unknown people? I don't know. I simply do not know. I know the princess is rude and annoying sometimes, but she doesn't deserve to suffer like this. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Okay. We will see if he loves the throne more than he loves the princess. I don't even know why they decided to sit in the session of our agreements. Your father is in a better position to answer this question. Because they've been the ones encouraging the king. Possibly because they're making money out of him. All I know is that God, God is alive. I am so surprised at you. You just abandoned the matter at hand and decided to pick on my family directly. Why? The truth is bitter, isn't it? Anyway, how, how is Cheta, your brother? I told you when the beast in me will be left loose in Mobile that they will not understand the activities of the beast. I am involved in this already, and I will see the end of it. You're not getting this. They've involved the police. So what? I should cut the crap while the idiot still sits as a king in the direct volition of the succession agreement of 1980? Hell no. Sweetie, you don't know me very well then. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do if he fails to step down as requested? Kill the princess. I shall know you will never do a thing like that. Go ahead. Go ahead and preach to me, my love. I hate it when people preach to me. My love, I am not preaching to you. It's called common sense. Fine. Maybe I was wrong to have come up with the stupid idea of mine in the first place. What are we really demanding for? That the king should step down? If he steps down, then who takes over? I don't care. Don't bloody care who takes over. That is not my headache. And I don't want to think about it either. All I want is that that useless king who has sit on that throne, feeding on the wealth of this throne, should step down. That is what I want. I am scared. If what then happens to our safety? Have you thought of what they would do to us if they find us here? Let me ask you something, sweetheart. Where is that girl that came to me telling me how her family's right was being infringed by the king? Where is that girl that was willing to do anything to ensure justice prevails? Where is a smart and brave girl? Why do I suddenly feel a chicken around me? I'm scared. I'm just, I'm just scared. Listen to me. Listen to me, my love. I know we went against the law by kidnapping the princess. But I know we're fighting for the right cause. We have the plan. And we still have a plan. My name is Bond. The one they were able to arrest in Joss. They cannot arrest me in my father's land. It. It appears as if we've lost it. That has always been the fate of my family. We are always losing. Fights are not always won by the strength of men, especially fights like this. Don't see yourself.
don't see your family. Don't even recall your history. See, Mr. Bone, I have never lost in a fight and sure will never lose on this. <laughs> you see, different people have different impressions about this kidnap of a thing. But sincerely, I like it. Huh? Uh-huh. You are not serious, are you? An innocent girl has been kidnapped and you said you like it? <laughs> what is happening has vindicated the chief priest. They were his words and I am happy. And which of his words? That in soon you will rise from this land and fight for his people concerning the refusal of Omeka Naya's family to implement the succession agreement of 1980 and that he shall be remembered as a royal terminator. He didn't say more say that. But I didn't hear him say it like that. He said it. I heard it myself and I have even waiting for when it will happen. You know, I I was wondering why why like he is the eyes of the gods and the mouth of the people. Mm -hmm. And why would just just keep quiet and allow things like this to, to happen? My dear, he gave the king and the elders his decree, but they did not listen to him. He left them with the prophecy that a son shall rise to fight for his people. Yet, nothing happened. But I am sure that a lot of people have forgotten his way. The princess was reported to have been kidnapped by a gang that were armed with sophisticated guns and they were shooting into the air. Uh, but the chief priest said it's a son. Well, uh, she's not kidnapped by <laughs> just one man. My dear, it is possible they were sent by the son and the son could be their leader. You never can tell, my dear. How can they just wake up and start arresting people without any proof? That is not done. That will not happen. Yes, your family and that of Ulisaike sent a petition to the palace and after a while this started happening. But that is not enough proof that their families are involved. Hazards, you see, my concern is to know who this person is persons because you see all the agitators have denied having hands in the kidnap and the people who are supposed to benefit from the demand seems not to know who the kidnapper is i mean this is so confusing and so disturbing yes it is quite disturbing because even those that had this case on their heads swore to the fact that the thought of kidnapping the princess never crossed their minds talk more of executing it whoever the person is they must have the interest of this kingdom at heart. And I wish to know he or her. Yes. How do you mean her? It can never be a her. It's only a man that can plan such. Brother, good evening. Good evening. Come back here. Where are you coming? Brother, I told you I was going to the hospital to see a friend. At me? When? Hey. Brother, you, you, I thought you heard when I said it. Am I deaf? When? I hope you are not going to say it's Ndidi. Because Ndidi was here earlier today. Brother, and it is not the only friend I have now. Oh, I just want to believe that you are still not seeing that vagabond. If he knew what he means to me, he would not be calling him names. I will scream! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! I don't touch him. Look at this little girl.
It is time to feed my princess. My princess, you do not have to reject the food. All we're doing is for the good of Umo Balanri. And we're happy that you're part of this good fight. I am not part of it. Whoever you people are, you might as well go ahead and kill me right now because my father would never dance to your tunes. The gods forbid we shed blood. You need to eat. You need to stay healthy. The king has to meet you in good health. As for, as for what you just said, it is part of the test on your father's love that you just embarked on. If he eventually gives up everything for your sake, then it means he truly loves you. I'm sure you understand this perfectly well. So now it's time to eat. Like I said earlier, you need to stay alive. And you need to thank the king for giving up everything for your sake. Who gave this to you? Your Majesty, someone I have not seen before. The, the thing is meant for you, sir. The letter is meant for you, sir. Someone you have not seen before. Yes, Your Majesty. Are you daft? Someone you have not seen before gave you something and you brought it into the palace? At a time like this? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Your Majesty. At this trying time? Take that thing out of the palace and Open it and find out what is inside now. Yes, I'm just. What kind of guards do we have? I don't know. I, I have bad feelings about that letter. I don't know. I'm, I'm... <sighs> it could be a letter bomb or something. What is it? 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 Look, 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 Prince, huh? find out what that is. Huh? Find out what that is! Not her virgin blood, but blood from her cold finger. What? Look at her finger! Patricia, you don't have to. I mean, where are you going to? Anywhere I can find peace of mind. Ugo, can't you see this environment is no longer healthy for me? Won't you stay and fight for your love anymore? Mr. French is in a police cell. Won't you go and see him? You can mock me all you want. I just realized how stupid I have been. See, Ugo, if a man does not want you, no matter how hard you try, he will never want you. Especially when another woman is in the picture. Just look at the trouble you would have landed me in. Do you think I ever wish to return back to the prison? I'm glad you've come back to your senses. But you don't have to go, my dear friend. You have to forget about him and move on with your life. Now that it has been confirmed, the kidnappers are after the throne. I believe you're saying. Hugo, please. I don't want to stay anywhere close to Mr. French. He can go ahead and marry the princess. That's if she returns back alive. As for me, I am going somewhere where nobody knows me to start my life afresh. <laughs> Since your mind is already made up, I wish you well. I believe life can still offer you another chance to love and be loved in return. Amen. As if my life depends on loving a man. Good job.
It's like you are good, my brother. <laughs> how? How do you mean? Okay. It's half past ten. And you're still here. Or will you go back home? Or do you want to spend the night here with us? Biko. Hmm? Biko kwa. Allow me to save all the victory. I still can't believe that finally we're succeeding in this. Hey! Hmm. Oh, sweet, I've always told you that failure is nowhere close to my dictionary, haven't I? I have not only seen you, but I have believed. Hmm? Baby, the news is everywhere that the king is now a wreck. <laughs> You see that stunt of sending an evidence of the princess's cut off finger? Yeah. Totally shattered him and broke their resistance. Her work is one of the stunts up my sleeve. Sweetheart, no brain is idle. <laughs> but wait, how are you guys able to do that? Simple, very simple. Provide a gory picture of blood. Write something that goes with it, and then the picture speaks more loud than words. That's all. Hi. 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 You are a deadly strategist. You can say that again. Baby, you will make a good king go. Hi. Well, if you say so. But if they give it to me, I will in turn give it to you because I don't need it for any reason. <laughs> you must be joking. A woman can be all things in Igbo land, certainly not a king. Always remember that. So, back to what we're saying. Your Highness, this is a valid document, finally prepared by a competent lawyer. Everything is genuinely in place. Let us sign this document. And save the princess. Who is the lawyer that prepared the document? And what is his interest? Your Highness, please do not concern yourself with that. I suggest you sign this document without delay, if for nothing else. It's abundantly clear that you're made to do this under duress. Once you have the princess back in the palace, we can file a case and begin the process of reversing it. Trust me, I shall personally handle that myself. Barrister. You know that all the families in Omuak Balanri have denied knowledge of the kidnap of the princess. But what I see is the hand of some powerful men of this land. How do I unmask? How do I unmask? How do I unmask them? Father, 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 listen, I, I, I think we have gone beyond that point. Oh, uh, Barrister Sainz, all we need from you is to assure us that once you sign the document to save the princess, that you will invalidate it again. It is as I've already said. Agreed. These people are smart, yes, but not half as smart as I am. Let us do this. Let's do their bidding. Sign this document, bring the princess back home, and leave the rest to me. You have my word. Are the ones calling you, man? I would not know. They hardly use the same number twice. My problem is that I cannot even trace the call. Because if I arrest the caller, they might simply kill the princess. Hello. Forget those documents we sent to the palace. Don't sign it. We don't need it anymore. No, no. We're, we're here. We're here. All of us. The chiefs, myself, we're here. I'm, 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 I'm about to sign the document. Yes, I just need a few minutes to sign the dotted lines and to be sure that it is, it is well signed. Please, don't, don't, don't kill the princess. Do not waste your time with those papers. We don't need it anymore. And get your useless lawyers to start endless litigations tomorrow and sit your ass on that throne. What do you want me to do? 
please. I have offered you people one million dollars and you rejected it. I have also agreed to sign the document you sent and, and you are refusing me to sign it. What do you want me to do now? Please, don't, don't kill the princess now. Don't kill an innocent girl, please. I give you one hour to return the staff that empowers kings to the chief priest. The same staff your family refused to surrender after the death of your father. If you fail to do so, I will start the process of killing your daughter slowly. Hello? Hello? Speak! Oh no! What? Oh no! They have got me. How? Mm. They have finally got me. Oh no! The ancient sacred staff to the chief priest. He will never give it back to me again. Hmm. Yes. He. He will simply begin to implement the 1980 succession agreement. I should have thought of this. I should have known this. Hey! The chief priest. The chief priest's hand is in this. You have refused to allow me to go see a seer to unmask what is happening. I have a feeling that this kidnapper is the son that he predicted that will rise. It is possible he is the one that will be remembered as a royal terminator. Imperial terminator, what, what are you saying? Is it to say that I am not going to be the king after my father? That should not be a problem to you now, my prince. It shouldn't be at all. Do not allow that to bother you. Soon we have the princess back in the palace and everything will fall into place. Yes. I know you're looking at me. Please. Let me go. I mean, how long will you keep me here? I haven't done anything to warrant this type of treatment. Please. Now listen, let me tell you something. Your grandfather was not a good man. The people of Umokbalanri managed him until death hoping that kingship will leave your family for another so our people will have a new lease of life but it never happened because when your grandfather died your father connived with a compromised elders not to return the staff that empowers kings. What did he do? He made himself king and has continued to rule over us unjustly. Now, can you tell me what wrong have we done to this 
deserve such evil act. Well, I can't see your face. But listening to you, I can tell you're a good person. Please let me go. My father will give you anything that you want. Money. In, in Naira, in dollars, he, he will give you enough money. Enough to take you to whatever part of the world you want to. Hold on, let me shock you. Your father has already offered me a million dollars. Yes, to guarantee your freedom. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you serious? Very serious. He made the offer. But I don't need the money. I want my people to be free from the grip evil family your family i want to have them wake up with the assurance that a noble man rules over them as king your father knows what to do and he has one hour to do so else i will execute you in a manner I have already told him. Have I made myself clear? Have I made myself clear? Good. Ever since you decided to continue ruling over your corrupt elders as king in this land, in direct violation of the noble agreement of 1980, I have never seen you around my compound. What are you finally doing here shouting? Don't pretend that you don't know what is happening. Take it! Communicate with them any way you like and ask them to release my daughter. You will not be happy with what will happen to you and them if they don't release my daughter. And then you over follows a process. Returning you also follows a process. As long as I remain the chief priest of Umakalari, I shall not allow abomination erupt in this land.
Hello, your princess is tired, crying, sobbing mildly on the background. Well, if you can listen very well, you can hear her crying. <laughs> you have 12 minutes left. But, but I have returned the staff as you instructed. I have returned it to the chief priest's house. Lies. Lies. Well, this is unfortunate. Because if you've returned the staff, they would have called me. Maybe, perhaps, it's because there are some issues here. What issue? Well, I took the staff to the chief priest's house as you instructed, only to get back to my house to find the same staff resting in his usual place. In the palace. It's obvious you want to see what I would do. No! No, no, no! No! You shouldn't have returned the stuff. The real place to have returned it is the shrine of our new more palangre. How should I have known? Oh no, how should I have known? I met him in his house, handed the shrine over to him. He should have told me instead of invoking the staff back to my house. Mm. Well, I think he's in the shrine because uh, I saw him there. Let's believe the kidnapper will not harm the princess before his informants go and tell him that uh, we have returned her. And yeah. we have returned this time. Let us hope so. Let us just hope so. I'm tired of all this. Tired! They should take their kingship. They should take, they should, they should take everything. I don't want. I don't want anymore. I can confirm to you that he already returned the staff. The chief priest sent for some men to come to the shrine and I do not know why. That's what you should try to find out. The king himself said he returned the staff and the staff returned back to him. I don't know what he's up to. Uh, uh, um, um, you know what? Um, do not do anything stupid over there, okay? I will take the risk of going to the shrine myself. And please, do not harm the princess. I returned the staff as demanded of me. When I got back to my palace, I met the same staff lying in its usual place. Tell me, what game are you playing? I remember I told you plainly that the manipulations of your family will not linger for so long. I told you that a son of this land will rise up one day and fight for the implementation of the succession agreement of 1980. I told you. And who is that useless son that has the audacity to cut the princess finger? Is she part of the kingdom's politics? What's the matter with you? Did you see any maiden here? And that is because maidens elected on their homes not to come to our father's shrine. I never asked them. I never ordered them not to come here. This is Ani Umakbalari, the central deity that brings all of us together. It belongs to all of us. Not the men alone. Now call those useless people you commissioned to kidnap my daughter. Tell them I have returned the staff. And tell them to release my daughter. I don't know what you are talking about. I never commissioned anybody. 
and I am asking you now to leave the shrine and wait for the new king that will take us out of the wood of this corruption. And who is this king? Who? There is a central palace in this kingdom in line with the agreement of 1980. From where all kings are supposed to discharge their duties as kings. You avoided the central palace. You continue to rule from your house because you are afraid of the gods of this land. I have started the healing process of all the evils you brought upon us. We shall all gather at the town hall to crown the new king. This might take days, weeks, or even months. In the interim, all the decisions of the king shall be made by the one that has the staff. And that is me. Why is all this happening now? Why are this happening now? The queen is no longer a queen. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. It is not something peculiar to you. We are all affected. Was I not a prince? Now that the ancient staff has been returned, am I still the prince? Do you know what? Do you know that my husband almost hired assassins to go and do away with that chief priest? Are you serious? Oh, yes. Listen, my husband had already perfected plans to do away with that chief priest. Yes, but I had to plead with him not to do it. As far as I'm concerned, we were already royalty, so we didn't need to kill anyone if I had not advised him against it. By now, that man would have been gone. All this nonsense will not be happening now. Just look at that. I am stunned to know that it got to this. I never wanted to thought that father could kill because of the throne. Let me tell you. I am the daughter of a fighter. And I know that men, I mean men, who find me power, will do anything to have it. Yes. Why are you people provoking me? No, no, no. Just, why are you provoking me? I have returned the ancient staff even in your presence. And here I am waiting with my friends hoping that you will return my daughter as you promised. Why did you come back here? Why? For Why? That you Why? resigned as the king is not enough. Yes. This man here, Mr. Ogona, is the secretary general to the town union. That you and all these corrupt elders in council on the mind of these years. Listen to me, Isabel. This is a new era in this land. And we have come to start setting the record straight. You said it's Mr. Ogonna. What do I have to do with you? Why did you bring him to my private residence? The news of your resignation have spread around the kingdom. Yes. And needless to tell you that our people are very glad. So, so, okay. I get it. You all have come here. You all have come here to mock me, right? On the contrary, we are here to demand for what is ours. What you have denied us all these years, that you hijacked power and ruled us without fairness. What do you want? Kept records of all the revenues accruing to this kingdom throughout the period you served as Igwe.
flying daddy what is it where is the finger that was cut and sent to us yes F finger my fingers are fine I'm, I'm fine daddy i'm fine daddy i'm really sorry that we lost everything because of me i'm so sorry And Mr. Man, who are you? The kidnapper or the person that found her and brought her home? My name is Mr. Bond, the son of late Chief Mbojikwe. Here with me is Perpetual, daughter of the land, and the great Okereke's family. We brought your daughter back, the princess. As you can see, she's well taken care of. You were, you were the one that I commend you for returning the Shen stuff. You are jacked from the people. That was a very wise thing to do. Hand for the kidnap. It was a game. It was a game we played. We played to savage the entire land. How dare! How dare you show your face after all you've done? What we did, we did for our people that have been marginalized by your father and these elders. And today marks the end of it all. As you can see, the princess isn't harmed in any way. So, we mean well. This this marks the beginning. This marks the beginning and the end of all of you. You're a liar, is it? These people brought to us what they've young for long years, and that makes them a hero. And if your plan is to address them, you better shell the idea. This house and all this fleet of cars that you have here will go up in flames if the police or even one constable gets to address these people. Yes. Yes. Light. 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 Uncle, as my uncle, 
and the elder of his family. It is your right to give Perpetua him in marriage. So proceed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Perpetua, it is a very special day. A man of this land has fulfilled the traditional rights to make you his wife. And as our tradition demands, you have to take this cup and show us the man that you have accepted willingly as your husband so that we can celebrate.
But the shame is too heavy to bear. No one saw this coming. Must you go with them? My love, I don't have a choice. You don't want to leave me. After all we've been together. You want to leave me just like that? Please, don't make this any harder than it is already. I beg you. Please, don't leave me now. Please stay with me. Let's get married. Let's build our future together. Please. If I were to change my mind, I would have done that a long time ago. After all that has happened to my father on account of me, it makes sense that I obey him now. He needs me now more than anything. Baby, please. I, I know, but please. Please. Please, my love. If we're meant to be together. Fate. Fate will bring us back together. But for now, my father needs me. Please don't go. Please. He is indeed a good man, but the thoughts of what my father did are too much for me. I went too far to prove his love for me. I must be with my father now. He needs me now more than ever. As we have come to the end of the sanctification period, as approved by the gods, we are here to start the process of implementing the succession agreement of 1980. When the gods are silent, it should not be misinterpreted to mean that they are asleep. No, the gods do not sleep. They only allow us to exhibit our low understanding of the things of the spirit. Always, at the appropriate time, don't make all things all right. Logan, come forward. By the direction of the gods and the ancestors of Omokbalari, I hereby crown you the next king of this kingdom. You shall be known as Ezeudo the first of this kingdom. Yeah. 
This is a new dawn and we have been challenged to leadership. I pray today that the spirit of our ancestors that has led us this far will take us to a place of peace and prosperity. Peace. At that point when all the elders in council decided to keep quiet and allow the king to deceive our people, you chose the path to honor by telling us the truth. So, in recognition to this noble act, I name you the Onobu that will rule with me. As I've said earlier on, we are in a new dawn. And together, we shall take Umuakwara into greater heights. Umuakwara and Ipueno! Yeah! Umuakwara and Ipueno! Yeah! Umuakwara and Ipueno! Yeah! Umuakwara and Ipueno! Yeah! 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 Y